Welcome. What? <laughs> Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. We are back again from Thursday from our one shot. If you didn't see that and go and watch it, well, sometime. Not right now because it's live and all that shit. However, if you are new here or you want to catch up or get caught up with the story, you can go over to our YouTube channel, which is down below, linked and ready. Or if you're watching on YouTube, congratulations, you're already here. Okay. I can try and scry on Icarid again, just so we know that it's not pointless. Yahir did say that he didn't think he was dead. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. He must be sleeping or something, because if he was awake, he would... Send to us. Send to someone, yeah. Yes. Um, I'm just crying Nicklet again, now that I've had a rest. Okay. Roll a yeah, wisdom save, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, hmm? What? Nice guy. 15. Balls, that's my save. <laughs> I thought it was 16. No, you took my intelligence away. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. So, it Fucking doesn't even Christ. matter. You are unable to scry. I... <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't, I couldn't do it again. Not because it didn't work. Just because of the way magic is not functioning right now. Okay. Um... Mm. So we have to head in that direction. Yes, hopefully we can intercept Yahir along the way. Okay, that's, that's our only option. It's not like we can go south without him. Exactly. Fine. Now that I've rested, I feel more within my wits. We'll get out of here as quickly as we can, I promise. I would hope everyone would want that, unless you enjoy it here. No, I just mean that we won't die. Linger, yes. I would hope that you wouldn't want to do that either. <clears throat> do not think I'm being unreasonable. No, no. So, what Thank are we you. doing? For what? Making this simple. Sure. Should we go then? Yeah, point, point me in the right direction. North and northwest. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Mm. What do you mean, sure? <laughs> <laughs> you just you do it like this. I was like, okay, that's the direction. <laughs> okay, so while you are trekking through. Mm. Hickler needs to roll some death saves. <laughs> oh, you need to roll it. Oh. Oh. Okay. I hate so, that. You walk through, seeing the mirage warping everything around you, feeling the soot like dirt crunch beneath your feet, leaving extremely detailed footprints behind before you see a bit of the magic twitch and the footprint washed away by flame or electricity. You walk through the remnants of cornfields, the void lit corn blowing into you. You feel almost wet flame lick your face as you progress and the sun beats down hard magnified almost through the mirage that coats the entire area. Off in the distance, you see mostly flat, but hills that roll on the horizon. Some you see are entirely cut in half by magic, flames pouring out from them like tiny volcanoes. Iclid rolls another death save in the meantime. Okay. Can I make sure I'm keeping an eye out for Critters. Perception check. <laughs> Large bugs. Mm -hmm. Clunk. <laughs> um, perception. Dirty 20. Okay. Um, you do see none of the abominations in the horizon or in the direct vicinity. And you see nearly no animals. 
However, at one point, you do see an untouched patch of a gourd crop of some sort. And atop one of the pumpkins, you see a ferret. A small ferret looking around nervously, but it's a small patch of untouched land, and they looking around, unable to move anywhere. But that is what you see. How far is it? Yeah, in order to see a ferret, it's like 30, 40 feet away from you. And it doesn't notice us, or is it like... Um, it does, but it has nowhere to go. Poor guy. <clears throat> Do I notice it as well? I'm gonna, like, point, point it out. Okay. Um, yes. I think this thing needs, um... Needs to be ferried out of here. Or well, we could eat it. We have plenty of rations. What are we going to do? Bring another pet with us. We have a bear. Can we and st- your Hithkel. We can at least get it out of this area. It's just a ferret. They're nice. We don't know what will happen if we pull, pull it into this space. It's going to die here anyway. So why shoulder that burden? Why not try and get it out at no expense to ourselves? Oh, some expense to ourselves. It's a, it is a life. It is a ferret. I just mean it does not impede us anyway to go offer it some food and pick it up and hope that it lives. How about we ask it what it wants? Do what you will. Please do not cast any more magic here. Well, I have to talk to it. Maybe if you walk into the space that's untouched, you'd be able to perform magic normally. Yes. You think that it exists in a wall. Doesn't matter. Just don't... What if you... What if you can't speak with these animals? And you try and speak, and you end up calling his mother a whore or something on accident because the magic is... not working properly. I tend to deal with things as they come. I'm sure you do, (laughs) but perhaps we just pick it up, throw it into a satchel, and leave. Plus, if we, does that cost anything? Do you, are you, do you grow more tired when you use that spell? Um, Does it sap you of your ability? No, not if I take some time. uh, I'm, okay, so it does. But what if in this time that you are taking this break, you spent precious arcane energy telling that this ferret, Weasel, his mother was a whore? Would you not want to save that opportunity? And perhaps you just shove the weasel into your back and hope that it knows you are not going to do anything. That's an an emotional torture. Worse than... (laughs) Being caught in an island. You can always just offer it some food and stick it on the bear's back. Yes, okay, put the weasel on a bear. bear. It's okay if I put that. Just put it in you your You could back. just gesture. There's plenty of stuff you could do non-verbally without casting a spell. I'll try it Hold up the ferret. Okay, so you're walking up to the... Never talk to animals before. Just wait ten more seconds, Iglid. We're picking up another pet. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're going over to the ferret then. Hey guys, how do you feel to water? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just non, non-threatening. Make an animal handling check. Oh, Roll it well, please. I'm good at this. I'm good at talking. <laughs> <laughs> but I am nasty. Uh, Twenty-three. Hey. Okay. So. <laughs> Weasel goes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you approach, but Dagomorus and Vivian are close behind you. You sort of tell them to stay back. <laughs> Vivian understands immediately. Dagomorus sort of. <laughs> also stands back. The bear knows seeing the small creature <laughs> to also sort of push back a bit, sit on his haunches. Oh, cute. The weasel sort of looks all around, <laughs> whiskers sort of fl- fluttering extremely quickly. But as you approach, something about your demeanor and the way that you hold yourself. Slinks down toward right at the wall, 
as you're approaching of the mirage that mm. is exuding from the soil. It is like a wall. He doesn't know shit. He's a sorcerer. <laughs> uh, um, let's see if I have anything. The apples are probably bad by now, right? No. Apples keep for a very long time. Well, I'll, I'll cut a little bit of apple. Okay. You I see that they're getting ripe, but they're not bad. Cool. Okay. So you cut a little apple in it. And I'll say, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I know you probably don't understand what I'm saying, but you need to get out of here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Come with me. Okay. So it, it grabs it grabs the apple with its hands, and you see it sort of roll like a half crescent over and <laughs> munch on it, and sort of like looks up at you, squeaking a couple times. <laughs> They're so cute. Extend my hand. Extend your hand. Is it? Grasps on as you push through the mirage. You yeah. feel it. The mirage, like a. Like almost like saran wrap. It pop through the magic so thick. Ugh. It crawls on and you begin to pull. I'm gonna say this is going to be unpleasant. Okay. <laughs> Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. I'll allow it. <laughs> a natural 20 ah! and a natural 19. Ah! Uh, weasel, weasel, that'll weasel. be that's nasty. <laughs> Thirty-one. Wow. wow. <laughs> okay. Here it braces itself. So yeah, it you see it curl, <laughs> curl up. You it, its tiny hand scrunching into a fist, but as still as you pull it in, you hear it squeak oh. over and over as it begins to like curl in on itself, very extremely uncomfortable. I can try to put it in my backpack. You want to put it in your bag? Yeah. Let me sit on your shoulders. But I'll like, I'll like leave it open once, you know, okay. once it stays in the lab. Okay. So you oh put it in there. Iclid has a ways off. Iclid, Iclid or Yuffie? Yuffie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you put it in your back. You do, with the confines of the sack, you... It doesn't feel as if it's struggling as much. Okay. Cool. It feels more safe within your satchel. And at that point, Vivian, Dagomaris, and the bear come up to you. So, you have a weasel, then? Uh, he's, uh, well, they're spending some time with us for the moment. It's very cute. It's a weasel. It's a cute creature. How many weasels have you met, Dagomaris? Larger ones in the Underdark. Really? They weren't weasels. They were moles. Giant ones. It's not a weasel, then. Oh, they look the same. They're... No, they don't. They have the same face. No, they don't. <laughs> have you ever seen a giant mole? I've seen a regular mole. Have you ever seen a giant one? I'm assuming it's just have a larger... Have you seen one? No. Then shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you, Dad. Yes, thank you. Yes, <laughs> <Did> <laughs> mean? Uh. Anyway, I'm just ferrying this creature. You're uh, ferrying the ferret. Yes. Was it on purpose? No, but I stumble across a genius every now and then. Genius. <laughs> it's just genius to me. I'm going mad. <laughs> I'm sensing it. I'm going mad in this place. Would you like to continue walking? Would no. that make you feel better? No. No, in fact, I want to dig a hole and stick my entire head in it. No, you don't. I 100% do, Vivian. Do not tell me what I wish to do. I just mean you don't really like the underground. It is not underground. That is my head in a hole. Let's walk and talk. Sure. <laughs> you guys push on yeah. as Iclid makes another death save. God. What the yeah. fuck? Where is get he up. the corner? Iclid, get up. <laughs> Roll a natural 20. What the fuck are you doing, <laughs> Tristan? Jesus. Okay. You all continue <laughs> for the entire day. Fuck! Finding damn. nothing. I mean, I suppose he is just, like, laying down at this point. It's not like he's getting any farther away. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> um, would it- is, is it another role to, like, be checking for, um, tracks, even though- Survival check. Can I do that? Even sure. Even I know the magic is, like, taking foot from the <laughs> Yes, you Yikes. did see that. <laughs> 15. Um, yeah, with a 15, and the fact that you did see your own footprints getting fucked up by it, no. You're unable to track in that way. 
However, the night does come, and you see the clouds percolate right above you, coming in almost instantaneously as if a wizard had summoned the clouds. You hear (laughs) cracking of various colors of lightning in the distance, and the tornadoes beginning to as well. Tiny hut. Tiny hat, D100 and D10. Please, give me like a 99, man. Give me a super strong hut. Walking? Watch, into the night. How dark does it get at night? It's almost pitch black except for the lightning strikes and the trees that illuminate. What did you roll? 92. 92. Asking ye shall receive. 25% extra, so I'll say that it not it's not exactly 25%, but I'd say that it lasts for 10 hours instead of 8. Nice. And it's solid this time? Yes. Oh. Works entirely. How are you? Beautiful. Good tonight, yes. Thank God. All right. I will begin to meditate. I'll take the first watch. Four hours goes by. You do see, even with a nine, off in the distance. (laughs) The moans of an abomination. (laughs) Off in the distance. Though the dome is complete, and it does not seem to to see you. I'll gently put... Ask Hithkel to squeeze himself back into the cup. <laughs> As I take a nap. You see him, like, go down to about oh. a bean's eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get over it. Dagomars <laughs> awakes. What did you see? An abomination, but it didn't seem to notice. Mm. All right. Goes over, and he begins his watch. Natural two. Wow, oh, oh. we're really uh, we're really pulling out all the stops tonight. <sighs> the magic twisting his mind, though nothing happens during his watch either. Iclid, another death save. Twenty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it blinks in two directions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Later that day, or earlier that day, Iclid, you awake. Babs right in your face. <laughs> Why are you scared of me now? Uh, only because you're right in my face when I wake up. Why did I? Why was I out again? I don't sleep. Because you fucking draw it in magic. I a goddamn idiot. What did I do? I said you tried to heal yourself with magic. Uh, oh, and it didn't... No, it didn't fucking work. There's like nothing you tried to do with my magic what? <laughs> oh, he's here too. And he looks over and you see Yahiro. hero. Oh. Sort of like... Oh. <laughs> Half of his face removed. You see... Not bone, but nearly mummified slightly like petrified wood flesh like a mask underneath but you see coursing green and black lightning through it his teeth though you can see some of them past what would be the cheek some of it is hidden by more of that petrified wood like flesh almost like ivory sits there shifts a bit more and you see his eye not gone entirely but somewhat similar to the blasphemous eyes although it seems to be like a coagulated blood that bubbles into the form of an eye with a green flame ablaze within it Spirit or in uh, physicality? Sorry. Um, I'm <laughs> alive, uh, I, I guess. I probably could use some actual rest. Are we, are we near? It's daytime for you, by the way. Great. Um, are we near where I went down originally? You can't. You have no markers and you don't have anything. I try to look for the dead body of the, the dude. You do not see it. 
I would like to look around for my blood gem again. Okay. You would think that it... I, I'm not even going to have you roll an investigation check. You're nowhere near it. Damn. So you look around, <clears throat> find nothing. I'm rolling around in some wind. <laughs> Just like an hour to get my bearings, and then um, let's put our heads together after that. No? I'm sorry, I have to see this. It's it's, uh, it's okay. It's I dragged you away. You drop this near your body. And he gives you the blood jump. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, Why didn't you use that? The bats I knocked out of my bag. No, I mean before, during the battle. I just didn't get the chance to, I guess. Okay. I don't know where we are. I don't know when this place ends. Had you been contacted by anybody else? Yes. Vivian messaged me. Oh. She is, I'm sure, traveling this way, at least in the general direction, but I traveled for many hours to find you. J j just for you? I don't know. Okay. What happened to you? I, I know I got carried off by the soldier. What happened to me? I used necromancy. And I failed to keep myself. I was not in my right mind, and I scared the bear away. I scared Dagomaris, and I was unable to protect Vivian or him. Or you, or Euphine. I saw them all go down, and I hid. Because the abomination was rampaging through the encampment. <coughs> And then when the abomination grew weary, I followed where I believed that legionnaire had taken you. He was bleeding. That's the only way I found you, but his blood was moving. It's own accord like worms. This place. Disgusting. I'm sorry if I seem short. I just don't feel so good. Very, very understandable. I don't think that encounter went down. <clears throat> How do you best thought it would? Or wanted it to? it does but you've already seen it what I really look like it matters none to me it should why because I'm I care not about being ugly I care about being a symbol I'm a sign Advertisement for Gamarian. 
from Marlow. I represent what he wishes. Well, we fight for what he has. So. There was a moment where I did not. And I fought exactly for what he wanted. The necromancy is strong. If I accepted it, I would hold more. Do you know what lycanthropy is? Do I? Make a nature check. Nature check? Mm-hmm. Ten? No. Okay. <laughs> it is werewolves, were bears, were tigers, were rats. Okay. They are cursed with lycanthropy. When one accepts the curse, they can control it, bend it to their will. But their mind, their very soul is warped by it. The malignance or altruism of the curse infects the soul. For instance, a were tiger, though very menacing to look at, has the composure of a monk. Their lycanthropy is strange, curse, bent in strange ways. Whereas the werewolf or werebear are malignant. The people that accept those curses are evil people who like the power the lycanthropy brings them. However, if you were bitten by a werebear or a werewolf and you decided to resist the curse, you maintain yourself entirely. But there is a chance that on full moons or other days that spur the lycanthropy, you lose yourself and you are thrown into the thralls of whatever the curse wishes. When I use necromancy, <coughs> That's the curse of Lichdom does the same. That's your full moon. Yes, but it is far more powerful. Lichdom. Well, there are few that can even withstand it. There are creatures, their names Bone Claws, whose will was not strong enough. And they are instead bent to the will of that which made them. Their soul filled with hate for trying it. And therefore they are powerful undead servants because they're fueled by more than just their master's will, but a bit of their own. But they were unable to overcome the curse itself. Nor were they even powerful enough to accept it. And then you get a bone claw. If you were to try and thrust lichdom onto an average individual, they would simply cease to exist. Turn to sludge. Infect the ground with a vicious necromancy. The residual power would eat away until there was a pit large enough or deep enough that it would span all the way to the Underdark. So you must be a very unique individual to resist. I do not know any others that have been, that lichdom has been forced upon them. I believe that Gamerian, and I take pride in this, I believe he was mad at me. I believe I cracked it. This self-proclaimed God, he was angry. His perfection cracked in the moment, and I got him. So, he believes that he has made me suffer, which he has, quite a bit, actually. But I have not spent my time idly, Ignat. 
and there is a reason I go to Ku. Whether with Titus or with you. I would prefer not. It does not matter. But I won once when I forced the god of Gamarian to frown instead of look at me with stoicism. Mm. And I plan on doing that again. But he made one mistake. He made me more powerful. And I already killed six of them. It's noble. So your sure. responsibility is to resist? Mm. Try to. Okay. When I use necromancy, it's increasingly more difficult because the power of death flows through me so strongly it is a catalyst for Gamarian's influence a curse I could give in to it but you cannot be a lich and be good not truly every one of them is evil unless they resist it in secret but I Gamarian would spot that a mile away for I am weaker than Gamarian I am weaker than his second and third in commands. I do not know the names. I just know that there is hierarchy within Dragon's Chosen Ten. I know this because some gave orders, some fell in line, some fought with me close, some fought with me from afar, some even shot me with arrows. Not all liches can use the arcane as well as I. They can use necromancy to supplement what they do. Sure. But not all of them are mages. Sounds like <clears throat> you have a good perceivable upper hand. Uh, it just. I have no upper hand. Well. <laughs> and your goals to resist and to defeat Gamarian. I trust you. Don't squander that. I'm gonna get some rest. Okay. I will sit here. With you. <laughs> Baths, sit <laughs> uh -huh. Holy fucking hell. What's wrong with him, huh? He's even strange, and he sees a point of his face. It's fucking ugly as hell. And necromancy, and. Are you talking? Um, what are you talking about? There's statues of me. <laughs> Beautiful and marble. The statues of you specifically? Yeah. Where do you think you'll fall if I me? There's marble statues on either side of me. Or the book. The book, the book is marble. At least I think it is. It might be like... Uh, crystal glass or something. Or oh. oh, they were me. And I'm fucking gorgeous. Thank you very much. <laughs> you ever seen anything like me? Huh? No, no. I... Where, where were these at? So I could go worship you. I don't know. Cunt. Ha! <laughs> 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 you know, man, where it was? It's a book. Pedestal. It's a fucking thing. Imagine being so unbelievably stupid. They go into the depths near the underdark. And you see this book, and you pick it up, right? Yeah, oh, good. oh, fuck off. It's so big. You'll never find it. It don't matter, because it won't give you any answers. They say, I don't think it will. <laughs> I don't know who I am. I don't, you think I wouldn't tell you if I knew? You're yes. right. I would not. No, yes. <laughs> you know me well, yeah. Um, mm. But anyway, what was I saying? You gotta be a stupid. You can't sleep. I know that. I force you not to. I'm just gonna keep talking and talking. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I was insulting your father. Go into my bag. <laughs> You'd have to be one stupid <laughs> cunt not to be. And he links your mind. <laughs> <laughs> To just go into a dungeon, pick up a book, and then bring it back to your family. Yeah. Man. Is that all? 
And another thing, if you've never seen anyone like me, you call me ugly, fool. I've seen Newmans before. You're not all that, Hicklin, all right? You're short, all right? You got weird hair. And you're a little bit on the left side of the chin, eh? Whereas me, I got spines coming out of it, very pronounced, eh? I got cheekbones that come out real far. And I got horns, eh? Horns frame the face, all right? <laughs> I got wings too, and you fly. No. I ain't no way you can fly. <laughs> I can. I can fly. I can fly if I hold on to you. You think I'm big enough to make you fly with me? Dude, are you not? Is no. No, I'm not. It's alright though. Because I can make myself fly, and I don't. Listen, I don't measure my worth by how many people I can pick up and fly. But if I did, at least I can pick myself up. You can't fucking pick your own self up, so he's better than Higgly. I find? Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly, Higgly. I'm way in one. Guys, I'm down with my mom. What's that in? Huh? Flame in my throat. What? You think that means something? <laughs> no. no, it don't mean anything. I just have never heard it before. Why are you talking about you heard me with phlegm before? Oh, you said phlegm. You said phlegm. Oh. Flame? You ever seen me shoot flame? I'm a moth. No. Ah, exactly. Exactly. And yeah, here I was just sitting there. <laughs> I thought you were sleeping. Well, I'm gonna rest as he shuts up. Liches. Uh, why don't you go make friends or something? With who? Hey. That stinky bitch. He smells so bad. You smell him? Huh? No, I can't smell him or Vinny. I'll work on that. Because while we are in the crew and you see somebody and you're like, Oh, you're powerful, maybe I'll make you my fodder figure. Don't think I don't see what's going on there, Nicklin. What's going on, Babs? Nothing. All I'm saying is that that guy right there, he's talking a lot of smack about the villages. What is he? It's like if I was going to talk smack about birds. I saw I look like a bird, right? Cool one. Red and spiny. Yeah. Boy, if I was going to talk shit about birds. Saying that flying is stupid. Wolf fucking flying myself. Makes me a hypocrite. So not only is he an evil hypocrite, but he's a hypocrite. <laughs> Aye. Good. Good observation. That's You're a fucking condescending bitch, aren't you? <laughs> um, that's fine. You got your ass fucking kicked in that bell. You feel bad? <laughs> I'm sure we all do. You know, you let everyone down then? I think we all let each other down. Oh, I think you let your, everyone else down a bit more. You went in. You went in. <laughs> and then you used my most powerful spell that I give you. And you used it on yourself. What's that about, eh? What? <laughs> what? What? You know why I went in. The fuck I do? Or were, were you not listening to the plan? I heard, because I, I know heard that some. you like to listen I to heard some. Apps. Listen. I heard I that you were going to be... Whatever. It don't matter. I really don't. But you're scorny. And you don't take blows. 
Yeah, big fucker that I'm gonna no, kill. I was not supposed to be down there for more than a little bit. Okay? Boy, Ash was up and hanging up in the air for a while. I know that. I don't want Face that. down in the dirt That's there. Nice. Yeah. What? You mad at me? I'm not the one that decided. Oh, <laughs> I didn't go in there. Eh? You see that big guy? The big guy there I'm gonna kill the Dagamora, eh? see? You see him? There you go in. He's wearing armor. I need him to go in. You think he can teleport in and out? I don't listen, I don't care what he can do. I'm, I'm fucking it don't matter. But what I listen, you little fucker. If you die, I'm in a book. Uh-huh. Oh, I thought, you, I thought you said it wasn't too bad. It's not too bad, but I don't... Mm. Listen. Get in the corner. That's fine. If I knew who was giving me power, or if I knew, oh, I would be talking to them. I'd be saying how much of a naughty fucker you are. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's fine. That's all right. Fuck you. <laughs> all right, all right, well. That's fine. You're just gonna sit there and stare at me. We just stupid little... <laughs> And I pull out the book. No, don't you dare! <laughs> you won! You finally won! Alright. Oh, well deserved victory for Iquid. Okay. That fucking time. And I want a short rest. Okay. So, you sit there for an hour. Okay, thank God. <laughs> get some slots, brother. Get some healing. Yeah, hero, the entire time just sits cross legged in front of you. Are you ready to go? You see at this point, the flesh, the actual flesh, mm -hmm. is beginning to creep upon his face. His eye fully healed at this point, just the jaw missing the bit. Every time he talks, you see power raising wow. from his throat. Ooh, um, Liches are so cold! Yeah, I think we can go in. I'm just gonna... Um... Let me try something real quick. And I do want to whip out my book and attempt to write to you, Fiend. Okay. Uh, D100, D10. Go, 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 go. 40. 40? Doesn't work as intended. So I'm going to need you to roll a D100 and D10 again. Under 25, you send a Titus Mirkwood. Under 50, you send a Baldric for Servius. Under 70. He doesn't 70 even know Baldric for Servius. I know. <laughs> You're just trying to fuck with us, huh? <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Us? You're right, you're right. So under 50, you send to Hector Dollhouse. Ah. He doesn't know Hector either. He scried on him. I scried uh. on him. Right right. He's tried to, and you've, you smoke. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 75 and under, you send to Euphem. 100 and under, you send to Vivian. The stakes aren't that high. No. Titus Markwood? Uh, 92. 92, so okay. you send a Vivian. Okay. But I don't know this, right? No. no. Okay, so I still write Euphine. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Euphine. I am alright with Yahiro. No idea where we are. It's nighttime at this point, by the way. Okay. After an hour of rest? Daytime no. Daytime and nighttime? You, in order to get a short rest from all that in this atmosphere, I'd say you'd need at least four or five hours. Damn, wow. Okay. <clears throat> um... No idea where we are. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So during your watch, you hear you hear this. Oh, then I'll wait until everybody wakes up. Okay. Oh, I will respond first. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> everyone. I can do that. <laughs> um, not you, Fiem, but glad to hear that you're alive. We're headed your way. I'm glad you found your hero. Um, hopefully we'll be able to reconvene soon. Don't die. Baz uh, crawls out of the book. So <laughs> 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 uh, Don't feel good. Oh. Oh, he's hurt. Um, okay. Uh, I didn't, 
You don't respect me. Been singing to the Euphem, but someone picked up. I was fucking that little necromancer. What? Oh, you think it was Eugene? I oh, know it was. I was in the book. Gonna apologize for shutting the door in my place. Yeah, hero, are we gonna no. or stay where we are? Don't mess with him. Don't mess with him that much. What? It's fine. And he crawls back into the book. <laughs> what? Are we gonna We wait out the night. Yeah. I would like to um oh, erect a hut. Same as Vivian does. Oh, can you do that spell? Yes, I can. Okay. It is a very rudimentary spell. Copy me, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. Yes, and we will just wait out the night. Um, we can both keep watch together. He's going to roll a d100 and a d10. Can he? Can he? It's a rudimentary spell. Thirteen. Wow. It backfires. <laughs> so. I guess I'm just a better wizard. <laughs> a beacon erupts, uh. like a spotlight. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, then we're moving, I suppose. <laughs> Let us move, but be cautious of the surroundings. I'll keep an eye out, and so should you. Where are we going? Just do. I don't this. know, Iclid. Just follow me. Okay? No, actually, I don't like that. We should determine a direction. Do we move more towards there or we just move due west? West. Okay. Let's go. No. Not west. That is further in towards Tristfall. Let us head south. Southwest. Okay. 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 Keep an eye out for everything. Sure. I... Can I make a perception check? Yeah. Okay. You said no to a lich <laughs> who was giving you lich eyes. <laughs> Jeepers. Get bad ideas. Get bad ideas. Creepers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 21. <laughs> 21? Yeah. Okay, let me bring up your really fast. Oh. Yeah, man. He's half a face, and he Kay. goes... Okay, so he rolled. <laughs> and you're like... <laughs> no. How about we flip a coin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. What's in Wouldn't that be the biggest fuck you of the century? We go north if you get, um... Uh, fucking death. <laughs> All right. I wonder if I would like it in here. Sixteen. Oh, I was doing a two face reference, but sure. No. Oh. No, um, he ah. basically two face. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Harvey Dent. I bro. get it now. All right, and then so okay, so you all, both of you, along with Baths, that has now crawled sort of out of the book and is just <laughs> looking out. Just be a rat, brother. Um, you all look out. Mm -hmm. Is a tornado's <laughs> lightning. <laughs> Right in front of you at one point, dust and debris, mm. but you manage to maintain eye line on everything around you, or at least most with his 16. But you get about a mile away, seeing some of the abominations wandering off in the distance, but nowhere near you. Mm. I will try again. Go yeah, go. Yeah. 87. Okay. Okay. Nice. Let us wait here. Yeah. Well, your hand just goes right through it. Oh, it goes. Oh, I thought. Because you was... can walk in and out of it. Oh. It's on the outside that it's hard only to those that can't get in. Oh, okay. I'm going to pretend that I'm asleep. I'm going to lay down, and I'm going to close my eyes. Okay. Um, I'll keep watch. Okay. I can do as much. Thank you. Yeah. 
ask so, our uncle to get it for us. You look out again into the king's waist. You all, you and Yahiro, unpack silently. You set up a small camp and prepare for a night of no sleep. Hmm. You are interrupted suddenly by an enormous explosive sound not far from you, followed by a shock wave that rolls over you like an invisible and incredibly hot wave. You hear it <clears throat> over the bubble. You grip your ears in pain as they ring out so loudly you think for a moment you may never hear again. Looking to where you believe the sound to have emanated from, you see a Dragon King's elm set ablaze with a deep orange milky flame that seems to fall apart, so, sorry, to fall upward off of it like melting honey. The light of the fire illuminates a large swath of land around and within it. The otherwise pitch black created by the rolling and restless storm clouds above momentarily set apart by the milky honey-like flame. Its branches pointing primarily upward, remain motionless and translucent as glass. The veins of red that course through it seem to move slightly under the heat. And at the very top of the elm, where the lightning struck it, a light blue flame burns amidst, like honey licks of deep orange that surround it. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm awake, I saw it. Yes, it is um, strangely beautiful. What? I, I don't know. Do we do anything? About what? The tree? Do you want to go and touch it? <laughs> I would not suggest it, Iquid. You might get strange. Turn... I don't know, grow a third limb or something. Thank you for your sage advice. I can't tell if you're joking. <laughs> Sorry, you just you can go back to sleeping. Is something bothering you, Liquid? It is just the I'm a little on edge after everything that happened. It's just us two. And neither of us are operating at full capacity. I'm near it. I don't think you need to worry. Okay. I... If one of those abominations comes, I, I, I just ask that you stand back and I will handle it. That makes me feel less skittish. Thanks. Yes. Well, if two of them arrive, then we are running away. Fast. I like that. Yes. I don't think I could take on two of them. Maybe. But I fear that the power I would need is corrupting. Anyway, you keep on with your watch. I will help you in a bit. No worries. Okay? Okay. So, the night comes to an end, and you all, separate locations within the King's Waste, hmm. see the clouds evaporate into nothing. The sun beating down upon you through almost a magnifying glass. You see the sparse corn, the rolling hills, and the cut-upon caverns filled with lightning, lit very well by the scorching sun. Euphem, Dagomaris, and Vivian, you wake first. The dome still around you as you come to. Iclid sent to me last night. Okay. He's alive. He's alive. I think he meant to send to you something must have gone wrong with his spell. Oh, of course he did. Shocking. He's with Yahiro. They're safe. Okay. They're traveling. I'll try and send to him again today and see if we can find a way to intercept each other. Or we just both leave. Head southwest, I we yes. Could also do that. Why would we try and find them when we can just meet up? Well, I just don't think that the three of us, no offense, would be able to take down one of those abominations oh, by ourselves. We have a bear. We have a bear as well. We had a lich. And a weasel. Yes, and a weasel. If I can get Polymorph to work. Maybe we just avoid them. Exactly. I agree. 
Although I could probably take one down. I admire your confidence. I believe I could as well. I admire your confidence. Hopefully we will not have to put either of them to the test. I was never good at tests. <clears throat> I can tell. I'm going to send to Iclid. Okay. <laughs> Do you want an ND10? It's going to be fine. It's going to work out fine. 79. Okay. What direction are you heading so we can intercept you? <clears throat> or should we both make our way out and meet outside of the scar? Not of cool, but of cloud cloud. The waste. We're, well, we're heading to Ghouls, right? We're heading southwest. I'm not sure where you guys are. I think we will, however, just continue to head southwest. Okay. They're heading southwest towards Ghouls. Then let us do the same. Okay. Sounds like a good idea. Do you seem upset? With, uh, upset? Why would he be upset? Let's see if yeah, Vivian can pick up on tone. <laughs> can I roll an in the, uh, uh, post insight check on Iclid? Sure. Minus. Sorry. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> insight? Yeah. Oh, it's only minus one. 14. 14? Yeah, sure. What is the general emotion? Nothing too in depth. What would you think that Iclid He's would be? perturbed. Perturbed. Mm -hmm. He seems perturbed, but he doesn't see. Why? Seem... I don't know. He's with Yahiro. Yahiro right. did not look oh, very I'm good. I'm sorry, Euphim, if he tries to talk. Oh. What are you talking about? If he is angry that we did something. Why are you jumping to that conclusion? I mean, perturbed probably he's because he's traveling with Yahiro. Dagomars is the only one who could be angry. You saw, you saw Yahiro. Absolutely. What? You saw him. I did. He was very frightening. Yes, so it's possible that perhaps Iklid is a bit frightened of Yahira. Perhaps. Also, I said I'd have his back, and then I didn't, so... He also jumped into the canyon when that wasn't the plan. Yeah, he jumped next to me, though. It's fine, so? but you were also down there alone, and that wasn't ideal in the first place. There was a... There was a moment when I killed one of the guards where I... Didn't, I couldn't tell which way was up. My my body kind of moved on its own, and I I could have been there for him in that time. Was your body moving on its own when you picked up the fireball again? No, that was on me. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Was yours moving on its own when you blew yourself up twice? Oh. We well, all floundered. But here's the difference. Is that I had no control over whether or not they blew up at me. I'm sure you did. No, I did not. It was this area. Do you not see it? Well, I think I kicked a rock or something when I tried to throw it, so... Ah, uh, I see. Interesting. The point is, when we find him again, I'm going to talk to him about staying back, like I do. The point is, it's not your fault. He was there to help me, obviously. He was there to help you, obviously. Why didn't you just get out sooner? Don't you have teleport? Wasn't that the entire reason you got, you went in there? Well, you found the item, didn't you? The anchor. Yes, but why didn't he just teleport out with it and chuck it away? There was a lot happening. Doesn't matter. I suppose it does not matter. I wanted to make sure that the spellcasters got hit by that fireball. It was a good plan if it all worked out, and nothing worked out for any of us. There's no point in blaming anybody now. I'm not blaming anyone. I just anticipate Hickland being petulant. Perhaps it's don't anticipate. Than dead. Yes, it is. It's still annoying. I do not feel like my headache getting worse. Well, at least we can start heading out now. Sure. Southwest. Southwest. That's still the direction Fools is in, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Get the fuck out of this. You travel dragon waste. for the 10th day on May 30th. 
the headaches, upset stomachs, aching gonads, tingling skin, muscle spasms, and the constant anxiety have remained the entire time you've been within the wastes. You've never gotten used to it, really, as the area's radiation doesn't seem to let you, doesn't seem to let you. But you've managed to push it back to the back of your mind as you've pushed through, making it a bit manageable. However, as you walk on this 10th day out of Schwenten, you feel your mind slipping. You feel your ability to push these gnawing sensations to the back of your mind slipping away, and you begin to falter in your resolve as the hours go by. The dirt beneath your feet begins to feel similar to the bedrock of Mortem's River, and the air around you begins to feel like the most welcoming of arms to your soul. You see the faces of your party. Yahiro sees Iklid's mouth rest agape as his feet slam hard into the hard soil all around you. With every breath, he hears him rasp. And as he looks back towards Yahiro, he sees a look of sadness and desperation within his young eyes, beneath cracked skin and above and beneath bleeding lips. Euphim's hair slaps heavily against the back of his neck, matted down with sweat, grime, and a bit of blood. His face looks filled not with sadness, but with a twinkle of rage and despair. A rare sight. Dagomaris' face looks nearly unchanged, his skin caked with grime and blood, but his environment seems to bother him very little. Only his eyes give any expression away, a look of dissociation and his armor crashes heavily upon his still-lifted shoulders. Vivian looks rather deathly, her back slouched as she walks, and her veil lifted and pushed back to allow her gaunt face to feel the humid air of the wastes. Her expression is filled with the same thing it has been, anxiety and a sprinkle of hatred, though it appears to be relaxed forcefully from exhaustion. You all trudge on, Seeing the faces of your companions diminish in, a, in elasticity and color as the day goes on. However, after a meager three hours of travel, you see what appear to be rolling hills of green, wiggling through the lens of the magical mirage, along with the towering bright gray and snow-covered ca caps of the Buvo Cap. You see rolling fields dotted with muted purple and orange-filled flowers. Patches of tall white and black-trunked birch trees filled with light green and lush leaves that tower seven to eight feet into the blue sky. And blankets of small wildflower flowers intersperse the rich green fields that cover the untouched hills of the Dunlin Fields. You exit the wastes fully feeling the cooled mountain air brush briskly against your parched skin and the beautiful scent of green and the flowers fill wonderfully into your noses. Behind you, you see what's almost like a wall of mirage towering from the magic that was unleashed upon the land. Like a wall, it doesn't appear to creep slowly into existence, but rather abruptly stopping at the green right where the magic laid waste and not an inch further. In front of you, now that your eyes have adjusted, it appears the colors have been muted, and the radiation has affected even that which is not within its boundaries, within the boundaries of the miasma. But not to an extreme, it seems, as of yet, and it still brings you an absolute enormous amount of joy. That is what you see. You and Yahiro remain in the wastes for now. Mm -hmm. Are you all waiting then at the wall? What are you all doing? No, I'm going out. You're well, continuing we... forward? No, we're, we're already out of the mirage, yes. You are out of the oh, mirage. Out of the mirage, just okay. waiting, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I say we wait here for them to come out as well. I'll be with a weasel. Okay. Yes. So, he... let, let them free. <laughs> sort of slinks out. Whiskers twitching the bear, sort of... <sighs> he <laughs> slings down your leg and then... 
goes over to you and like nibbles at your toe, looks up, seemingly waiting for something. Ah, uh, are you? Are you, is he hungry? Uh, he goes, yeah. But you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> um, God, more I'm apples. Okay, now you can get him an apple. He puts it in his mouth, about halfway eaten. Safe travels. <laughs> you see him hop, his like arch back, like like a slinky upon the ground, and then you see him disappear into the into the greenery. Good job. I bet he's got a, a story to tell. To who? The other weasels. Yes. All right. <laughs> Did they do that? Tell, tell stories. Tell stories. Every, everything tells stories. The bear. <laughs> <laughs> What is his problem? Well, I guess if a bear can tell stories, it's so weird, is it not? Strange to all, think that a bear can talk. They're all stories. I mean, they're all souls. It's all life. Life meant nothing where I am from. That's a hell of a story. <laughs> what is that face, Vivian? Oh, that's not Vivian's face. <laughs> Are we moving, or...? I don't know, are we, Yuffie? I... I don't know. Vivian's been to keeping track of where they are. We... They said they were moving southwest as well. I obviously don't know from where. Do you where. want to send to them? If they see... I guess now that mountains. magic is not going to be as messed Roll up. Roll a D100. Are you fucking I'm me? Kidding. Oh! I'm kidding, you're kidding. Ah! I'm kidding. It's permanent now. You went to the waste. Oh, now your magic is fucked up. God. <laughs> Throw the spell book on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eh, fuck it, I don't need it. <laughs> I'm a fighter. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. I do soul transmutation now. Yeah. It's just me and my soul sword. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to send to Iquid. Okay. You do not need to roll a D100 and D10. Nice. <laughs> that feels good. I can use my glass again. <laughs> Actually, he's still in there. Roll a d100 and a d10. You're a bitch. Because you were casting it upon him. Bitch me. <laughs> I'm just trying I think to be. It's good consistent. that it works that way because of the, uh, the scribe earlier. 63. Yeah, exactly. 63? Okay. It works less than you would want. Yeah, no spice for you. <laughs> no Archmage for Servius for you. <laughs> Take that DM. Take that DM. Yeah, yeah. I really, you know what? I feel that. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> you wound me. <laughs> <laughs> We made it out. We'll keep an eye out for you both. Can you see anything yet? I don't see anything on the horizon, do I? Make a perception check. Okay, cool. Perceive. Matt 20. Okay, what's that total? 27. 27? Okay. So you don't see anything right now. Yeah. You... <sighs> Damn. I see nothing on the horizon. Glad to hear you're out. Uh, we'll see you soon, I guess. They still can't see. The yeah, hills. Just wait, I guess. You can travel. Well, into it again. No, I was gonna say south. Why would we go south? We know they they're were, going south. They were further north than us. They were though. further north. They were going oh. south. And they were traveling southwest. Southwest. Okay. We should be able to see them if they exit. I can keep an eye out. I'll send my raven out. How's okay. that? Or he just sends to us when he's out. You think he can handle that? That too, but it'd be nice to see. In okay. case something's wrong. Sure. I'm gonna sit down. I guess we should just enjoy each other's company. Who? What? No. Oh, us. <laughs> Yes, I'm, I will, I'm bouncing. I'm going to take um, Hithgol out of the cup so that he doesn't have to be a, a, the size of a bean anymore. You team sees this as he... Hmm. <laughs> what are you feeding him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving him anything. What is that? It's, oh, it's Hithgol. That thing? It's Hithgol. He's so big. Well, he's sure just it's been not three of them. It's fine. He's fine. He's. What still... are you talking about? What do you this mean? This is a ball of lightning. And he's very nice. It talks to you. No. Then how do you know it's nice? Because he likes to hold my hand, and he plays. Mm -hmm. 
If I start holding your hand, will you think I'm nice? <laughs> I'd love to see that. Shh. We should hug each other more often as well. You remind me of someone. And in this place, do not please remind me of him. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. What? He's fine. You did not answer my question. What question? If I held your hand, Vivian, would you think I was nice? Oh, by the gods, you would. I cannot believe it. It's a nice gesture. No, it is not. I am not nice, and me holding her hand would not change that. It would make you moderately nicer. Even if I was faking it, lying. Well, why are you lying? You all truly drive me up the wall. <laughs> I'm just trying to understand this hypothetical. I guess this is a you guys thing. I could turn around. I'm going to snap and send my raven up and go okay. blind. <laughs> you know the drow didn't speak to me very much. And I really never appreciated it until I was here. Hector talked incessantly. While I was in that sack... He would chide me all the time. And his cat kept eyeing me up and down, licked its chops. And then I found out that he talked to it. Everyone talks so much here. That's how we connect. I connect in silent contemplation. actions. I believe that is best. Hmm. Is that all? Now you do not talk. Well, I'm not one to. I don't want to tell you if that's terrible. But since you've prodded me, I haven't been as alone as you have, but I have been alone. Silence doesn't serve me well. And I'd find it hard to believe that it would serve you at all, either. From what I can see, from those who I see talk more than not, they do not like what whispers their mind gives them a yearning to fill the void so that something does not. Why do you think Humphrey talks so much? I can't say that's completely wrong. I know it is not. But there's also strength in talking and connecting. In what way? <clears throat> Why would I want to connect deeply with any of you, with the exception of Vivian, who I'm... Um, I do not believe it is a shock that she is the only person that I really care about here. Ouch. Sorry, but I believe that there is a large possibility that I see you die. Just like I believe it is a large possibility that I see Ickvid die that I see our hero die, that I see everyone around me die. And so you don't want to connect with me because you're afraid of... That's not a fear. But my mind is already burdened enough. Why would I burden it more? Well, if you see me as a burden, then I guess that is... What an interesting way to twist someone's words. I... It is the emotional baggage that is the burden. That's Connections not... in and of themselves or not. The image of me dying is not the only thing that you get out of a relationship, Deckmars. No, but it is the ultimate <clears throat> goal of all life, is to die. So... And you are but a human, even if I would... The ultimate goal of life is to live. Sure. And you succeed in that when you die. Perhaps. 
although I have seen many that would disagree that they were successful in living life. And so they get another one. Maybe. Unless you are someone like her. Vivian has a way to come. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying that those who Vivian kills and resurrects do not get that same opportunity to end up. Do all the people in Cruel get that same opportunity? Do the souls within Titus Mirkwood have that same possibility? Uh, well, Do the souls you found wandering have that same possibility? My whole job is to help them find that possibility. Yes, you do. But On my blade, they do. What of... It is a moot point. It, uh... Do what you will, Dr. Morris, but... Um... While I am running away from my own silence, I'm not running away from life. I don't think you're running away from life. I think you are. I think you are. I'm not running away from life. I'm running towards the only way that I know how to live it. I see no living fruitfully in any way other than fighting. Life is fighting, but you live by the inch, Ooh. and you take every inch. I once believed that same thing, but only one of us was a soldier who was taught that exact ideology. I think you've been fighting for the wrong thing. You think I've been fighting for the wrong things? And what is that? The freedom of my people? No. Is that wrong? No, of course not. Then what am I fighting for, Euphim? Analyze me. Tell me what I'm thinking. It seems like they're fighting solely for victory. Victory? Over whom? Over what? Whatever your goals are, I'm just saying that there are small victories in every moment, in every connection. Would you think that way? If your life was ending in two months, would you think that every moment was a victory? Would you f look so fondly upon <coughs> saving the weasel? Would everything spark as much joy? Or would only the larger things ignite anything? I've thought that I've... I've thought that I've lived my last day for years. Why is that? By whom? I don't know. But death is right around the corner for me. I know. It then is. why do you use necromancy? I didn't know it was necromancy until recently. Hmm. But everything I do is because I think I'm going to die at any moment. And I want the last thing that I do to yeah. be something good. And we have two very different philosophies. For you have no grand goal. You don't have a purpose. They're all grand goals. That is not true. Every last one of them is a life. Every la last one of them is a soul. There. Every last one of them is important. There are value. There is value in each person. To a degree. Some are worth more than others. Aldrich for Servius. And that weasel share very little in common, as if I saw that weasel. Again, I would look fondly upon him, say, oh, that is a weasel, and I saved him with Euphim. Baldrick for Servius' life means nothing. It is forfeit. People who use their lives to commit such heinous acts, such as the Lord of Pestilence, Viscardi Morgan, their lives mean nothing. And us mortals, since we have been given this free will, we, with this free will, can enact judgment upon other mortals, giving value to certain things. And in that way, I can also ascribe value to your goals and to mine. My goals are far grander than yours. They mean more. I'm sure you would think that. Objectively, they do. Your goal? You think saving that weasel is the same as saving my people? You insult me. 
You insult everything that I stand for. You insult the people that have died under my feet. You insult Vivian. If I were to say... It's only an insult because you think so little of the weasels. No, it is an insult because you think so highly of them. It is because you do not ascribe value to things because you see none in yourself. If you've you're never one... talked to a weasel before, have you? I have not, but I see you. You value your life so little, so you ascribe so much to everything else. Coping mechanism. You can laugh it away. It does not feel good to be analyzed, does it, Euphim? It's, I mean, it's, it's true. I know it is. I don't have anything. I know. So do not try and give value to other things and other people when you yourself have no value in yourself. I don't have anything, but at least I can give to others. If you have nothing, what can you give? There are things that you don't have to pull from in order to give. I give whatever I have left. I don't know how much I have left. But every time that I'm asked, I can I find that I can give more. You're because right. I care about more than a laundry list of ideas and people. Do you not understand what you just said? You do not know how long you have left. It could be 80 years you have. You could live your whole life. And you have lived this way, and that is good. I appreciate that. However, I do know how much I have, Euphim. Two months. Two months I have. It is not a question. It is not a lingering thought in my mind about when. It is how. How will Titus Merkel squash me under his boot? Will he crush my skull? Will he illuminate my very soul with lightning? Or perhaps he cuts my legs off like he saw the Lord of Pestilence did. Perhaps he plays with me. I do not know. But what I do know is that it will happen and it will be awful and painful. And every goal that I had will be for naught. Because I will have it taken from me. I have no control. I have no control other than my pride. My pride and my ability to do whatever I can in these two months. Now you can wax philosophically at me, say that a weasel's life is just as important, and that may be true if you have the ability to see such things, and I do not. I don't believe that. I don't need you to believe it, but there are certain things that just are. Air, you can breathe. Water, fresh water, you can drink. And magic, you can use. You're, you're not a stone, Dagomars. You're not a, a rock. You're a living thing. You're a life. I understand that. And you feel... can live in the margins. You're just choosing not to. I am living in the margins. I'm living in thin ones. Thin ones I can barely break free of. Without any connection. What is the purpose of connection within these two months? What do I gain but more pain, Euphim? Do you wish only to gain or do you wish to give? What can you offer? Oh. Life you? <laughs> what can I give? Reminiscent. Even these hills. I remember being on a cart with this man. And he would toy with me, say things like the light was guiding him. A holier than thou individual looking down on me. How dare both of you look down upon me? I don't. You do. Your condescension drips. What do I have to give? I have given everything. I have given my entire life for others. Do not speak as if you know anything. I don't. I don't you know do. Anything. I don't know anything. All and you I do don't is don't wax. Judge. I'm not trying to judge. I'm merely trying to challenge you. 
I'm trying to ask more of you, and if you cannot give more, then you so be it. You want more of me? It might not be fair to ask. It is but impossible. if I did not ask, then I would not... <laughs> I wouldn't feel right with myself. You would not feel right asking that I give more. What sick philosophy do you hold that you would look at me, someone who has nothing? That is like going to someone. I saw some homeless people, some beggars in uh, Dunbarrow, and I gave them coin of mine. But what if I went to them and I said, what are you giving? What are you giving to the mother struggling to feed her children, you selfish worm? I spit upon them for not giving. Oh, All they want is to get. I am not putting. What would you say to them? What would you say to the homeless? What would you say to the beggars? I'm saying I believe in you. And you're saying that that's insulting I'm glad you believe in me. No, it is not insulting that you believe in me. I believe in myself. That is all I have. All I have is myself and Vivian. Because you don't want anything else. No. I'm right I here want there. so much more, Euphim. I just cannot have it. I understand that your family disappeared. Did you see it happen? I did not. That is good. I'm glad you did not. Would not wish that upon anyone. Have you ever been in war? No. It is good. Would not wish that upon anyone. Have you ever been tied in a cell and had an archmage loom over you and force you to um, turn in one of your companions? Have you ever been forced to kneel in front of the person that you knew slaughtered your people? God, so. Do you think that if you had done any of these things, your perception, your philosophy might change? Probably. Okay, then all I ask, all I need, is that you have some empathy and you stop trying so hard to, I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know what goal you have in mind. You're not going to lighten my day. You're not going to make me happy. No one will. The only thing that will make me happy, there are a couple, and I do not believe any of them will happen. One, I lop the head of Glaucon from his shoulders. Two, I watch as Vivian decimates Baldric for Servius. Three, I save my people. Four, something happens to Titus Merkwood. I am not sure what that is. I think you misunderstand me. It is hard when you make no sense. I'm not trying to make you happy. I'm not. I can see that, Euphim. It is blindingly obvious. I haven't seen the things you've seen. And I haven't done the things you've done. And I probably would have a different view if I had. But that's why we open our mouths, and that's why we connect, and that's why we tell stories. So we can share what little we have. And it is little. The only stories I have sad ones that I feel not to tell. And I won't make, I won't ask you to if you don't want to. There's nothing to talk about. I'm just offering another view. How do I connect you, Fame, when I spoke to no one? The only, there were possibly three times I spoke to my father. And each time I was guarded by Erlendish Royal Guard. And each time, they forced me to spit on him. They made me chide and berate and belittle my own father. And they made sure they told me 
who he was. He was not allowed to look at me, or he was cooked in the face. Kicked. I have so few good memories. I have spoken with Yahiro about some of them because I believe he can truly empathize with me. I danced in bars a little. I saw you once. Mm -hmm. What? In the bar. Oh, yes. Well, in the Underdark, I wore a different face when I played the ocarina. Once a week, I was able to do so. That is all I have, along with fleeting memories of my mother. She was nice. But I saw her die, and I wish not to bore you with that story yet again. Regardless, I cannot connect with anyone. I tried, and I was ran out of Schwinton. For what it's worth. I don't see you as a strange human. Good. I don't see you as one either. I just don't see you as a friend. I don't see Eklid as a friend. I don't see Yahiro as a friend. And I see Vivian as a... <sighs> Do not feel like dealing with that right now. <clears throat> Possibly a sister. I do not know. But again, you must understand that every woman I've ever seen was villainous, a monster. Not everyone, but up here they are fine. It's they seem not, to like me. It's not as um, My past is definitely not as rough as yours. But there was a time when I was alone. There was a point where I barely even knew how to speak common because I wasn't socialized at all. And I came across my family, as you know, stories and without even speaking to me they made me feel at home and I guess this is another one of my selfish endeavors where I just wished that I could do that for someone else and if I can't that's okay it's good enough that I tried I appreciate the sentiment. I do. I'm not a hollow monster filled with only pride and cowardice as I once was. I'm not saying that you could never be my friend. I'm not saying that Iklid and Yahiro could not be my friends. Just not right now. Not here. Not before I do something. You don't have to be, you don't have to do anything for me to consider you a friend. I'm glad you can consider me a friend. I just hope that you do not burden me. No, I'm not demanding anything from you. Good. I hope you are not offended. It is not because I do not like you. I have disliked few people. Some I have disliked too quickly because I was a bad person. Just as the person that I compared you to, I disliked him. He sounded like an asshole. He was at times. He was. He tried to get my anger arise out of me but I believe he was doing so because he did not understand how there's no other word for it evil I was I did wish to kill him I wished him dead and when I saw him roll in front of me 
I did not care that he got burnt. Because uh, there's nothing. I do not think that anymore, just because I do not care to consider you a friend right now. I would not burn you if you rolled in front of me. I've changed in that way. You burned him? Yes, without a second thought. I cast burning hands, and he was there. I'm not proud of it. But there are enemies, and Vivian was about to die. So I did what I thought I needed to. It was not good. Again, I'm not proud of it. There's nothing I can do now. He is dead. I did not kill him. But I did let him die. Yeah, if I die, please don't burn me. <laughs> no, I, I, well, I burned him before he died. He died don't in a separate occasion. I will try not to. But if it is between you and Vivian, I will choose Vivian and I will burn you. Please. I wouldn't choose myself either. Good. I'm glad that he's settled. Again, I do not think less of you. I do not dislike you. There are parts of you I enjoy. It's my arms? <laughs> arms? It's a bad joke, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, you are a good musician. I enjoy music. It's just something I enjoy. You still have the ocarina. I do. I do not know how good I am. I do not know if Irlandish music is any good. If the bars were... I love to collect sounds. If you feel like it. Not today. This is a bad one. <sighs> Every day is bad. It's not going to get better anytime soon. I agree. Music makes it slightly better. I will come to you. I won't say another word about it. About any of this. I'm sorry about your family. Thank you. Now just wait. Do you think she can hear this? I know she can. <laughs> Damn it, I was hoping to keep that a secret. Vivian <laughs> 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 uh, just goes. <laughs> <laughs> it is alright. Vivian already knows that I can have strange. I have a. We have a bad relationship. What? I'm a little embarrassed. Don't be. Sorry. <laughs> that made it worse, Vivian. <laughs> I'm gonna take a stroll. So... And, the, and Dagmar's is gonna pull you aside. <laughs> Vivian... has a troubled past with companions. Everyone except for myself that has seen who she is has threatened to kill her. The necromancer or...? Drow. And necromancer. Faye, the person I burned. Threatened her the same day that he tried to save her. And I left. She blames me, I have a good reason, and I will not apologize for it. But I could see in the circumstance it did not feel good. Or Siren, who you met. The grumpy one. Yes, I do not know what happened between them after I met with her again. She was different. And 
that is where I come in. I have told her that she disgusts me on multiple occasions. Because she does at times. And I cannot do anything about that. She reminds me of people I knew in the Underdark, and she is a necromancer. She's extremely selfish, and she's the only friend I have. I do not know how to behave. I apologize, but you must bear with both of us. I don't think I want to accept that apology. But I appreciate the sentiment. So, what did I say sorry for again? <laughs> I don't like the idea of you apologizing for who you are. I am saying that I apologize for our lack. We were not taught how to be people. At least I was not, and Vivian does not remember her teaching. It has been a long journey, and before I was a person, I was a monster who had nothing but gold and Yes. I don't think I could ever understand But I've I've seen a lot of Nothing like you two. Nothing like Iglid. Yeah, she's weird. <laughs> but the beauty and the sense of worth I see in life that I don't see in myself. joy every time through each step I don't really need anything more but thank you for the sentiment yes all right then he walks on I'm gonna go for a walk. okay so you are patrolling the sides of the wall up north right when Dagomar comes back I'm gonna keep seeing through the crow but I am gonna say something okay <clears throat> It is me. Is Euphim still here? No, he went on a walk. Sorry for eavesdropping. I knew you were listening. And I'm, I'm also sorry. Can we do this later? Okay. I've talked too much with Euphim. I'm sorry. Go on. No, it's okay. No, please. You're right, you, you, you. No, Vivian, I, oh, please, just <laughs> say it. <laughs> Listen! <laughs> <laughs> it's his character. Um. No, it's fine. I, for I forgot. Vivian, I so you did not forget. I, I'm getting angry. Just say it. I did not mean to cut you off. I am just not accustomed to so much. I just wanted... To... I just wanted to apologize for... for putting all the pressure on you that I did when we first met. I'm older. And my 
responsibility. It is not your fault. But I you took it on. We're also. You were also dealing with everything that had happened to you in the Afterdark. Yes, I was. And you were navigating the world just like I was. I'm not saying it didn't hurt, and I'm not necessarily... I'm not necessarily ready to forgive it yet, but I, I am sorry for putting you in that position. It wasn't fair. Nothing you've been through has been fair, and I added to it, and I'm sorry for that. Thank you. We will talk more about that later. Yeah, that, that's, that's all I wanted to say. Um, the, um, that's not all I wish to say. I will think about it. But I have a tendency to say the wrong thing. I'm not mad. That is not what I'm saying. I just believe we need a conversation in which we are not insulting each other. And I wish for that time to come in a nicer place. We have been through a lot. He was the only person I still know from when I first came here. I'm sorry I'm unavailable right now. No, it's okay. As I frequently am. But I want to be present for that conversation. I'm gonna start reporting on what I'm seeing through the eyes of the crow. Okay. To break the... Okay. So. Eklid. Mm -hmm. You travel with the Ahira. With that perception check, as you stroll over a hill, you see possibly 200 feet from you to the right, seven of the abominations. They appear to be interlocked, their flesh molding between their forelimbs on either side, uh -huh. and between them, a ball of intense and volatile almost when you look at it it looks like water just water if not a bit you see somewhat of a borealis within it coursing mm -hmm. through it but all of it stems out of it all of their faces on the flattened penny back that goes to the rear, mm -hmm. the faces, their eyes closed. You hear. Like coming from them. Like, like a, a chanting? Like a low hum. Yes. Maybe. Yahiro sees this as well. <clears throat> uh, so you said. That is pure magic. You, you that said is not good. We run away from two. What about seven? Wait, what do you mean by pure magic? I mean, that is not being siphoned through a soul. That is water from Hecate's pool. I do not know how they are siphoning it. But that is an... Like directly from Hecate's pool? It looks like it. It is an anomaly in the making within this anomaly. Uh -huh. We must disrupt it. I will do so. What, what, do, what do I do? You run. Yeah. Run now. Run. Run. Oh, very <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you start running. You hear. <laughs> you see four fireballs shifting in front. You Get see him. his image moving throughout time. 
around him, slowing. Well, arcs of lightning out of his radius. As you run, Baz looks on as he all four fireballs the water, each droplet of it an explosion no less than ten times the size of each fireball as they hit the ground like meteors all around you the rocks debris covering your vision as dust begins to pick up and with each of the balls of water clouds bolts of lightning arcing from them before the dust settles back down again you just run through you look back to see your hero sing his blade song run with you before he <laughs> stops next to you. Mm -hmm. She running! <laughs> as you both run, make an athletics check as you hear <laughs> behind. Yikes! Christ. Get him. Get him, ya hero. Get him. Come on, Nicklid, you got it. You rolled well, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. What'd you roll? That one. That one. Okay. Lies. Liar. Fuck! <laughs> Wait, you actually rolled a natural one? Uh-huh. And then, and then, minus one. <laughs> so Everything we do <laughs> to try and save this motherfucker. Yeah, hero's gonna try and make an athletics Destined check. For death. Okay. <laughs> Mortem's literally just like lurking under okay. you. <laughs> so, yeah, hero uh, <laughs> running, you uh -huh. <gasps> trip, but he <clears throat> stops, goes underneath you in the time that it takes you to fall, <laughs> <laughs> and begins to run. You feel the harsh linen of his robe as you also feel a strange, frigid cold coming from him. As he <laughs> sprints through, you feel the, the ties of his robe slapping against you. Mm -hmm. And you look back to see all seven of the abominations <laughs> chasing... I need you to make another athletics check to see if you can hold on, and yeah. he needs to make an acrobatics check. Have you interrupted their girls' night? Mm-hmm. Your <laughs> girls' night. Stop, dude. Okay. <laughs> that is... 13 for acrobatics for him. What'd you roll for athletics? 12. 12? Okay. So you managed to <laughs> hold on as he continues to run mm -hmm. slower mm -hmm. than you might like, mm -hmm. but still faster than the creatures as he has a 50 foot move speed regardless. Dang. As you run through the meteor showers, one of them <laughs> exploding right in front of you, Yahiro <laughs> uses the explosion, <laughs> flipping. You uh -huh. all over. So he <laughs> tries to land correctly. Ooh, damn. That's a 20. Nice. Acrobatics. Is he... <laughs> <laughs> keeps running. Hesitant to use any spells he is. Yeah. So... Good thoughts. Good thoughts, <laughs> my boy. You... Like the, uh -huh. <laughs> the, <yeah>. the lightning... <laughs> <laughs> right in front of you. You see one of the abominations far behind a mage... Begins no. to coalesce. No. No. Blizzard. Nope. Like winds within his palm. <laughs> 130 mile an hour winds filled with icicles, bits of snow, and clouds <laughs> rush towards you. Make a dex constitution saving throw. Thank you. Do not yeah. roll a one. Don't do it. Natural 20. Natural 20. Okay, so you 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 succeed on the same. Good shit. Come on, Yah Hero. Come on, Yah Hero. You take 20 points of damage halved. He takes the full 40. As the winds. 
<laughs> brush all around you, the icicles <laughs> into your skin. You do see the tips of the Buvo cap ahead in the rolling hills ahead of you. Uh, Y'all hear oh, <laughs> sees him as well. Mm -hmm. You <laughs> hold on tight as he continues to run through. You eventually see the wall of the mirage. As <laughs> you tumble out. You <laughs> sit there, Yahiro <laughs> pulls his sword out as the abomination. <laughs> And run back out of the um, anomaly. <sighs> oh, oh, grass. Oh, actual. Are you wonderful, okay? Beautiful grass. Are you okay? <sighs> Are you hurt yes. by that cone of gold? Uh, I'm fine. I just kind of roll over and like face down to the <laughs> dirt. Uh, Good clean dirt. Clean. The headache is gone. Uh, oh. The what headache were is they, gone. What were they doing? They were summoning them. They were coalescing raw magic from their forms. No. I don't know how they were able to do it. I'm, I've, I've read about anomalies in planes. Some believe that they are windows into these other worlds or other dimensions. Direct access. And if those are anomalies, then they are windows in themselves able to access in full whatever plane they are in. That's, uh... I don't know how much, though. Nothing... That amount of... raw magic still paled in comparison what I mustered. That is not me bragging. I'm just saying that it was enough to worry because they are siphoning raw magic, but not enough for me to believe that they can... Mm. Um, it is still a concern. You yes. Just raises just, more questions into the power of Falcon and his throws and no, he did what not mean to do this. Using it for what? Aren't he did those, not mean to do that. What aren't those uh, abominations of the Dragon's Council and Glaucon's? Yes, but I do not believe that that was their intention. I believe they wished to mar the land, and I think that they are stupid. Did it on accident, and they will reap the benefits of their mistake over the bodies of many. You think that? Wait, those. That was just the will of the abominations? Yes. I do not believe anything is controlling them. I think that they are products of raw, vicious magic. I do not know what will happen. They do not follow us outside of the anomaly. Which means that I don't think that they can live in more contained, neutral, and orderly atmospheres. Perhaps they would fall apart, which is good for us. Yeah, that's... They're contained, but... That's... Um... Jeez. They just must act out of pure chaos, then. No? Yes. I think that they know not what they do. I would like to look around to see if I see them. Perception Can I check. Can see them? Can I read them? Natural one. Wow. Okay. You do not, and neither do you. <laughs> cool. Um, I will then just, uh, and then write to you, Fee. Okay. You do not need to roll a D100 in a D10. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, be grateful. Be grateful for your magic. Euphim, we made it out. I'm not sure where we are. I don't see anything. Tell us how to best proceed. Um, great, both of you made it out. Thank God, I'm glad you're not dead. I have no idea.
idea what to do. Vivian might be better to talk to. <laughs> Should we just head more south? See if we can find them. Oh. Along the this border. Yes. My name is in your book. Yeah, that makes sense. You That's bum? Fine. I'm gonna run back to them. Okay. Yeah, so let us just go down south until we find them. And if we don't find them within the next couple of hours, we will. I can write to Vivian. Sure, yes. All right, yeah, so let us go. So, what do your raven eyes see? Shut up. <laughs> Make a perception check. Hmm. Hush your mouth. Eight. Uh, okay. You are unable to see. <clears throat> All right. It is now about 4 p.m. <clears throat> midday. May 30th or? Mm -hmm. So May 30th, yes. Okay. I'm back with them by this point, right? Yes. Yeah. So I guess I've told you that they're yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Should we walk up north? I suppose at this point, yes, that would be best. Fine. Oh, we're Let's assuming that they're north of us. Grab your bear. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's just go. <laughs> Not without snark. God damn, you can, you can cannot do anything without a little bit of. <laughs> <laughs> that was so okay, so you all heading up north? Yes. I'll say that it takes two hours before you, Fim, you see mm -hmm. Iklid and Yahiro walking. Baths perched on Iklid, sort of. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna try and grab Iklid. Okay, so you, again, they're pretty far away. I'm running. Okay. Ah. <laughs> yeah, hero uh -huh. nudges you. I think your friend is running up to you. Uh, yeah, I see that. Oh, what's going on? You can, we're walking, it's fine, right? What seems to be the matter? We'll talk about it later. Just pretend like you're enjoying it. Right now. Okay. So, you fame, you run up to a walking Iclid. That's fine. I'm going to hug him. <laughs> okay. you, get, you get embraced. Unless he, like, yeah, it moves out of the way. <clears throat> I thought you were dead. I. <sighs> Very, like, with my just hands on my side, with you hugging me. I'm glad you're alive. Um. Okay. Yeah. Glad that all of us are alive, I guess. More or less. Mostly yeah. more. I'm not alive. <laughs> I was trying to sidestep that. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, I am in better spirits now that everything doesn't hurt me. It's good to see you too, Yair. Has, yes, has his face thrown back at this yes. point? Yeah. It's nice. good to see you as well, you think. It's good to see all of you. The bead didn't really work out like I wanted it to. Oh, yes, it, um, it's alright. I had blacked out at that point, I think. <laughs> you didn't see me. Okay, well. I saw lighting. the crater, and I saw that the tents were no longer there, sort of scorched, and I saw that you were not doing so well. But I had blood all over my face, and my, um, yeah, wasn't a good moment for me, but I am in better spirits now. I apologize for <clears throat> not doing more. Don't. Well, I could have. I didn't. I could have done plenty more. But I decided to use necromancy. So did I. Hmm. Everyone can always do more. Let's not dwell on it. <coughs> do we right. reach them by this point? Yes. Okay. Dagger Morris and he. Our hero. Glad to see you both okay. Oh, okay. Vivian. It's nice to see you. I'm glad you're okay. Nice to see you too. Yes, the bear as well. Are the bear is safe, just sort of like staring at your hero now. <sighs> right, we haven't had a conversation about... Yes. Um, I'm glad to see that everyone is safe and sound. All of your limbs? <clears throat> you're all talking correctly? You feel saved a weasel. Oh. Nice. Did you speak to him? No, actually, but I think they understood, or he understood. You saved a weasel. Yeah. Uh, how do you, how do you mean? There was a weasel trapped in the ick. Hmm. And um, I don't know. Gave him a, 
an apple and hung out with us for a bit. There was an animal stuck in her. There was like a pocket of untarnished greenery or something. Uh, hmm. But it was trapped, so. Well, that's good of you. Oh, did you find out the nature of that pocket within the anomaly? Why it was we saw untouched? Some pockets as well. I'm not really good at answering things. Remember, we walked past that house. The house was there like it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it just didn't seem like some parts were affected because the magic itself did not touch it. None as much. Bad. As you see, the grass a little bit grayer here, like radiation. It is poisoning what is around, but not directly affecting it. Magic has that effect. Obviously, we can't rely on you as a bastion of all arcane knowledge, but is there any way to reverse what happened? No. Nothing I'm aware. I think that we'll be here for quite some time. Look at Hero's Peak, for instance. (coughs) Sorry, I'm still just a little stuck on the weasel. You... They're safe. Yes. Uh, After you uh, derailed our long it took to, to, to do so for a, a, a weasel? It was just a oh, couple... It is a weasel. It was like 30 feet away from us when we were walking. Would you like us to leave it? We just went and picked up... He just went and what? picked it up. Do, do we save every rabbit in the wolf's maw? Do we save every anteater oh, by the anteater? What did I say? That mirage was not an anteater. What did I say? It was an act of injustice. Don't act like it's natural. It was just a helpless creature that was going to die there if we didn't do anything about it. And uh, we could. It was easy. Okay, I just wasn't aware that we do that for every one that we come across. Boy, we do that for what just crawled up your ass? Say it. Spit it out. We, uh, <laughs> and we had to get out of that awful place and you... And I took a moment to save someone. Someone? It's a weasel. And? Should Yario not have stopped at that gate and picked you up? I am different than a weasel. Oh. Why does everyone think they're different than weasels? I do not believe Eclid is very much different than a weasel. All right, well, the point is, it was going to die there anyway. It was a mere 30 feet away from us, and it crawled up on Euphim when he reached his hand out to it. That would have spent <clears throat> longer. It's a life. I don't think all your, all your side quests are so inconsequential. Everything's a fucking side quest to me. I see what you mean now, Euphim. And I see the error of my ways, hearing someone else say it. It reminds you me of a different philosophy that I used to hear frequently. What? There was a time when I believed that humans were less than dirt. Should I still think that, Ignat? About you? Or are you worth more than dirt? Your words drip vile poison. What are you? I'm a human different than an animal. Have you s- spoken to the animals? No, I can't speak to animals. If you, well, you should ask them if you're different. Mm. They'll have a lot of terrible things to say about your kind as well. Look, all I know is that an animal doesn't have this, and I hold up the book. Yes, it does not. Is that a good thing? Or is it a good thing? Yes. It means I have more responsibility than they do. Responsibility doesn't mean work. Iclid, why do you think you're different than the weasel? Is it not? It's just is it because you live longer? Human? Is it because you live longer? I live 2,900 years longer than you, boy. Am I better? Then I don't think it's... Is my life worth it? more? I don't know. It's just that it's an animal, and I am not. You know, I had some slaves in the Underdark. Uh Uh-huh. They were animals, too. Would you like to be mine, Iclid? Should I push you under my boot and use you in the way that I see fit? So then you're saying you think I am an animal? Should I attribute value to your life? You... <laughs> this is all going. There was no reason not to say that. We survived fighting one of those abominations. Barely. 
And we couldn't pick up a weasel. That was too much. That was too much of an error. A, a, a time waster. All I'm, yeah, all I'm saying is that don't think all your side quests aren't so inconsequential. Aren't you a side quest? What do I'm you mean? I'm here because of a fucking side quest, Iglid. No, wait, Iglid, what do you mean? Why are you upset that we took time, however long it was, to save the weasel? Because they're just more dire things at hand. It wasn't your idea. It wasn't Didn't your idea. Didn't we get idea? out first? My idea. For the burning building in Schwenton? What was that? That was that we had to spend more time in Schwenton anyways. No, we did not. Did we not? No, we did not. And I told you that much. It was me that pushed for us to leave sooner. We had to wait for you, Fimsword. We did have to wait longer. That's what I remember. The you were fine is... with that, were you not? Why is it that you have such a petulant attitude now? Weasel's more important than a sword. It is true. Investigating the house yielded, uh, yielded us quite a lot of benefit. We stopped something terrible from happening. We gained a transportation circle, a teleportation circle. I don't know why you're saying this to me. I wasn't against investigating. House. You wanted to leave earlier, but we had to stay and I wanted to leave earlier because... What I'm saying is something that we wouldn't have done had we not had the time to do it ended up benefiting us greatly. What do we get now? A weasel army? What do we get if we save your father, a useless archaeologist? He's a human. So? I care not for humans. You never said I'm Aralindi. I would make a human better than a weasel. What? What would make a human better than a weasel? What do you mean, what would? I don't know if it's better, it's just, it's an animal. It's worse than Intrinsic it's worth is interesting. I enjoy it. Do you I know anything about the afterlife? Hold that philosophy. Do you know anything about what happens when you die? No, but I guess you're so familiar with death that you knew it. Yes, and I know this is going to seem ironic coming out of my mouth. Iklid, I swear. You say one more word like that, and I will cut you down and you fiend for defending you. If you can. Oh my goodness. Tempt me. It's a weasel. We don't need to be you threatened. You do not insult other. Vivian and you do not insult me. No you want to start sparring practice early? Sure. We Inglid. just got to draw out of that, that book of yours and see if it can beat my sword. Our minds are weary. We should not. Let's sleep. Shut we'll your mouth. Let us teach this boy. You've never been spanked before. Let me do it for you. This is not, not Perhaps you see the afterlife a bit quicker. You insult that. a single one of my people, boy. You human worm. When did I insult your people, Tyrus? You talked down to Vivian as if you were her equal. You are below both of us. Fairly equal in power. You want to test that theory. I know one person who'd enjoy it. <laughs> Bats? I'm sure he would. But I will use him as toilet paper after I shit all over you. Do something, boy. I never attack first. You'll need it. That's what I thought. Do it again, and I will slit your throat in your sleep. How noble. I don't need to be noble, I need to win. What a reunion. <clears throat> yeah, I hear her, she's sitting there. So, pools is south, right? And I start walking south. It is not south, you fucking idiot. <clears throat> it is southeast from here. We are north of the Buvo Cap. We need to go around it. Southeast is back through the unknown. No, it is not. Wait, I'm sorry. Is south the wall not, like, east to us? Northeast of you. You went southwest to get out of it. Okay, so if we go southeast, we're just going along the border? Yeah, because yeah. we have yeah. to skirt around the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, range. Okay, great. All of you should really talk to animals. 
Sure, you can teach me the spell. Use but a potion. I, can't. I don't I, have one. I can make one. We're gonna have to get some. Sure. They're really, really good conversationalists. Yeah, you think conversation. That's what we need more of right now. We need more life, liquid. And more empathy. I do not know God's sake. which philosophy to hold, because Euphrem had me a bit convinced. And from my conversations with Yahiro and with Vivian and all of the research we have come across as it pertains to resurrection. I used to think the same thing. And even in the waste, I disagreed with grabbing the weasel. I said exactly what you did. But there was something different about it. You are so much more annoying when you say it. It sounds the same to me. I'm sure it does, Euphim. Pardon me for being crass, Dagmaris, but I thought crass philosophy was being me. No, I just forgot. such dribble could stem from humanity and have brought back such fond memories such fond memories a few I remember there were a few diggers who stumbled into the underdark humans I remember ah yes we ate well we ate very well but only after they were worked into the ground. How that make you feel, Dagmaris? All I can say is pray that your father didn't run across some of my people who think the same way about them as you do about that weasel. I didn't think you'd care so much for the weasel. Neither did I. Glad we're both learning some things today. And I I walk in okay. southeast. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna look at Yahiro. Yahiro is just Did something happen? He has been He has been strange since I found him awake. I thought at first it was because of my face. My real form was showing a bit more than it um, did. But I, I saw him drawing, oh, painting a picture before we um, entered into the waste. No, it was, it was in the waste, I believe. It was of a rabbit, dead, with a wound on its side. A white rabbit, blood spilling from it. He is, but 19. Do you think this has all been too much for him? Yes, I do. And I don't know what to do. I don't think there is much to do. I think he is going to lash out. There will be no fighting. I will stop it. As will I. No, you will not. If any fighting breaks out, I will be the one to stop it. You and Yuffie must remain neutral, lest the, the, it will implode. Okay. I can put my thumb on both of their foreheads pretty easily. I have seen your power, and I respect you, Yahiro. Thank you. I'll do I my won't. best, but... Dang, Morris is inflammatory. I understand. It may be difficult, I understand, that you have grown fond of Iquid, <coughs> as have I. Dagomars as well. Again, that is why you must not pick sides. 
I will speak to Aikman. As can you. And I think that Vivian and Agamaris shouldn't. I find that elves have a hard time relating to the adolescence of humanity, among other portions of our lives. As is very obvious by Dagomaris and many of the high elves that I have met. Well, in Dagomaris's case, I don't think he was given a chance to be petulant. Is that not what he is now? Perhaps that is why. And I think he he's emulating now. what he saw. I cannot have him kill a 19 year old boy. Neither. But I cannot have Iclid. Throwing that book around and it does wound me, his attitude towards life. Being a necromantic abomination myself. But we will see. I will need both of your help, just not in the fight. He likes you, maybe more than me, I hope not, <laughs> but he does like you. So, he will speak with him and so will I, separately. Feel as if he might feel ganged up on if we both do. Later though. For now, I give him space. As should all of you. I agree, yes. Dagomaris then walks up. What are you whispering about? Conspiring. No, we're I'd not I'd like to see you try. Dagomaris, we're not conspiring. What? Oh. You sure? I'm positive. Mm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Paranoid. <laughs> but for what it's worth, I think I get it. I could take I'm feeling second. very angry right now. Should we spar? Right here, right now. Please. While you're angry? Yes. Mm. I will not go so far. I'm not Humphrey. I've heard about your others far. Oh. Well, now I am a bit too angry to spar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's in my best interest either. We'll do it tonight. I feel like settling it soon. Sure. But for now, I walk in silence and I... Scowl. I'll give you space. Thank you. Vivian, we talk. Oh, okay. Pulls her to the side. <laughs> God. Vivian. Do not let him talk to you like that. Do not look down when you speak to him. You are an Erlendi. I am also an Erlendi. If you were in the Underdark, you could have spat on me. And I would do nothing but lick it up. That's very horrendous. No, but you are highborn. Use it. That is but a 19 year old human child. You are a wizard of the island eye. Have you not read what I've read? Have you not heard what I've heard? Masters of the arcane. Take pride in it, as I do. Next time he speaks to you that way, I expect your support. As you do what a matron mother would have. I won't kill him. You won't have to. And that is exactly what a matron mother would have done. Dagomaris. I'm not saying that you are one. You are not. But you must take pride in our people. Humanity does not deserve you looking down. I might be able to listen to you better if I wasn't a necromancer. And he is. He gets his power from an evil god. Fight fire with that fire. And so do I, and so did you. 
And we no longer. And now no one can hold that against me. We can't kill him. You can't kill him. I can. I know you can. You shouldn't. I shouldn't have done a lot of things, but I do not think that slaying a 19-year-old who flaunts an evil book in my face. Tagamaris, in the conversation we had not a couple nights ago, you bragged that you hadn't killed a single human while I had wrecked up a body count. Perhaps. Do not, Tagamaris. I will Do not you. restrain myself if he talks down to one of us. I will not. I will not swallow that aspect of myself. In fact, I believe that the pride of my people is one thing I would like to keep. And some boy will not be squatting over me like that. You can put him in his place without killing him. I know you have the control to Fine. do that. I will maim him then. Also, probably too much. I will be the judge of that. Yahiro is fond of him. That value. Yahiro and Euphim are very fond of him. I, <clears throat> I beg you to curb your anger. Then I will just have to kill them before they get to me. Maybe we should talk about this later when you can calm down. Persuasion, Jake. Oh, persuasion! Ah, oh, that's plus six! Ah, oh, 21! <laughs> Fine. I suppose you are right. Isn't that what we owls do? Meditate. I wish I would do some. I won't let him talk down to me again. Yes. Good. Know your worth. Many words. <laughs> Man, he stresses me out so much. <laughs> So you all push forward with a what would be wonderful second wind had it not been for the, <laughs> in, the weasel. interesting. We saved a weasel and now we're all gonna kill each other with the fuck. <laughs> with the fuck. As the breeze of the Buvo Cap and the ocean beyond cradle your chins and breathe new life into your senses. You begin your journey towards the mountains, which are quite close, towering far above you and sending larger hills like waves from its base. You begin to hear the sound of eagles and the chirping of birds once more as you travel between the hills of the Dunland Fields. You walk underneath the shadows of tall birches, examined by a few butterflies and large bees that travel dangerously close to the wastes. The night eventually comes, and you begin to set up camp just underneath a large birch, the white and black bark giving off a grand scent as you unpack upon the soft and lush grass that rests just beneath it. You begin to hear the howling of wolves to the southwest, along with a deep and scratchy, somewhat screech-like sound. A sound that Vivian and Dagomaris have heard before. The owl bears of the Buvo Cap, no doubt. Cool. Their sound brings no fear with them. The howling, the hooing of owls, and the screeching of owl bears brings with it instead a semblance of normalcy. And with that, those of you who rest begin to rest well. The bubble. <coughs> With mm. not a care. In the world. <laughs> 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 Look at how good at magic I am. Very nice, Vivian. Thank you. Oh my God. Boy, do you just?
just have to sleep in the bubble? I think not. And he's going to try and grab you oh by the collar no. and throw you out of it. Oh, uh, my God. I will... Can I contest? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Making a contesting athletics check. Okay. <laughs> oh, Gavamaris. I'm trying to buy it, man. 18. Okay. Ooh. 17. Wow. Oh. Oh. So he uh-huh. goes to grab you and you throw him off. Excuse me? Get out of here. I'm the one who keeps watch. I can do that. I did that before you came here. No. I keep watch the entire time, Dagamars. so I think I'll stay. Your hero doesn't bubble. sleep. Do you think we need you? Doesn't matter. I'm here. Get out. I'm asking you to leave. I'm telling you. You don't get to make that decision. On what grounds? On what grounds is yeah, that I am telling you? Um, okay, well then, I am On the not authority listening. that I will kill you if you do not. Then do it. Yahiro, you can right cast here. this spell, can you? Yes, no, can. that is not I the can. way we're going to handle this. Dagomaris, explain why you're upset. Oh, it's okay. He can explain. tell me, I cannot listen, and then he can kill me. That sounds like a much better plan to me. What are you trying to get out of this? What is your problem? What do you, what do you want? In, to be in the bubble, as <laughs> I've always okay, been. Then. Listen so, to Dagomaris explain why he's angry. You are a petulant child. You are rude, and you do not know your place. What's my place, Dagomaris? Below me, below Vivian. Why? Hmm? Because you're a prince? Yes. Where's your kingdom, Dagomars? Hmm? Right the wastes your... don't care that you're a prince. The wastes don't care that I'm the son of a Jarl. The wastes don't care that Vivian crawled out of the earth. The wastes don't care that Euphem is whatever Euphem is. A hmm? human? A... You know what only matters here? And I throw my book down. This. And that. And I point to your sword. And that. Euphem's sword. And that. Vivian's book. That's all that matters out here. We are an even plane. And he grabs his sword, tosses it to the side, and kicks your book. Then let us see what you are without it. And let us see what I am without my sword. If that is all that matters, prove it. If you are correct, then we should be equal, yes? Obviously we're not equal in stature. We're not equal in any way, boy. We're absolutely. Yes? Out here. Is that so? That's so. Mm. All right. Then let's put that to the test. Iclid, if you are deciding upon this, you're an adult. You can make your own decisions. <clears throat> no test to be had. You've been mean to me the entire time <laughs> that I've been with you, and you now say that I'm rude? Yeah, I've been mean to you. You've been mean. You've been nothing but mean to everybody. Hmm. You've been nothing but a thorn. A thorn. Then let me plunge into your side, like a thorn might. And he <laughs> kicks his sword up. <laughs> I'm ready. Prove to me that you are my equal. You can either handle the situation like adults, or you can attack each other like animals. Oh. Truly like animals. He ascribes less value to animals, as if they are morally inferior and they handle things in a worse way. It Your philosophy a means nothing. Choice. This is how I handled things in the Underdark, and this is how he can handle things up here. There are better ways. To whom? Not to me. I duel. Oh, then you truly are the animal, Dagomars. That is fine. Then die like the squirrel to my to wolf. Do this. You're both deciding to do this. What kind of animal will you die like, I wonder? Will you squirm like the worm you are? Come now. I'm not fighting you, Dagomars. Of course you won't, because you're scared. I wonder why your daddy ran away from you. Dagomars, you already won. You already won. I go pick up my book. Do you think he'll love you still? Oh, God. I think he wants to see you. I wonder if he ran away of his own volition. Dagomar uh, en- Enough. I'll start to keep watch. I'm starting to keep watch, ignoring Dagomar. Are you still in the bubble? <clears throat> he stays. 
Make me your fate. Fight me. Fight me. It's Never my wait. bubble. Then drop it. We all stay in the safety of the bubble. You know what? That is fine, Euphim. You will not fight me. Nicholas is too afraid. I do not need your watch. And I do not need Vivian's bubble. If Humphrey slept in the woods, then I, too, must sleep in the woods. Choose us, Dagobah. And he walks out of the bubble. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Who's Humphrey? Hello. Oh. Keep an eye on him. No, I cleared you will not. What do you mean? I mean, this cannot go on. What is wrong with you? What is going on? Speak your mind. What do you mean, can't go on? Dagomars' outbursts? Sure, do something They cannot do... They cannot go on either. Okay. But that will be far harder to remedy, as he is 54 years old. What is wrong, Eklund? Speak your mind. What's that to say? I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering why you're asking me about anything. Because I'm wondering what there is to say. And if I tell you there's nothing to say? Do you feel okay about lying? Is that your response? I'm asking you. If I did? It's not a good trait to have. Lying is frequently um, counterintuitive. Then I tell you that nothing is wrong. Well, you are being counterintuitive, Iglid. Just try not to. Why do you care? (sighs) You do not like to see those who you care for in pain. That is why I care. So, you don't actually care for me, you just don't want to feel bad. You just don't want to be uncomfortable by any sort of conflict. If you're looking for a selfless love that does not exist. Not only that, but I suppose you could twist anything in that way. You cannot live life entirely selflessly. You being in pain gives me uncomfort, but Dagomaris doesn't seem to care. What would you prefer? certain authenticity to Dagomaris who seem to be ascribing that I'm not ascribing to you mistakenly I am genuine and I am authentic I have no reason not to be but I can see that you are not ready to talk about this so I will sit by the bear to console him. Maybe don't. Okay. I will not. I will sit over there. Sorry. No need to apologize. It is probably for the best. Are you able to cast the tiny hut? Why? So that I can go and make sure Dagomaris is okay. Sure. You may leave. I will cast another. Thank you. And you leave and it... <coughs> Neat. Mm-hmm. Iclid, I, I don't have much to say, but if you do choose death, 
If you choose to die, I won't stand in the way. You think my conflict with Dagomaris is a guaranteed death send? That says so much about how you believe in me, Euphine. It's about being practical, Ikwid. I'm not a fucking idiot. What's the practicality, Euphine? Sell me on it. Why do you want to fight him so much? I don't want to fight him. He's just a jerk. He is a jerk. But there are better ways to handle these situations. Is there? Than just gesturing at swords and books and screaming and yelling? Yes, Iglid, there is. And how come you've traveled with him so long and he's still a jerk? He's getting better. I believe in him as much as I believe in you. Again, that says a lot. Why do you want to be better than everyone? I don't want to be. You are better than the weasel? You want to be better than Dagomaris? Why can't you just accept people? The weasel's weasel? not comparable. Exactly. The That's the point I'm trying to make. Then you've lost me already, Euphine. What do you want? What are you trying to get out of this conversation? I want to figure out what the fuck is going on. Why are you making stupid decisions? What decisions are stupid, Euphine? Poking a raging bull with people around you who care about you and don't want you to, to see you hurt. So then you wouldn't let Dagomaris kill me. If that truly was case. Are you counting on me? <laughs> to fight alongside you. I was, Euphine. Then you're abusing this friendship. I'm abusing this friendship. Absolutely. And I'm insulted. You're insulted, Euphine. Fuck you, Euphine. Obviously. You ran away from me. The plan was I was supposed to teleport in and then get you out. And I called your name. And then you went over to pick up the stupid fireball and then dropped it. I was right next to you. Yeah, that was a mistake. Fuck you, you fiend. I walk off. Okay. It's still in the bubble or out of the Yeah, bubble? yeah. I just, just uh, to the other side of the bubble. Okay. So, Vivian, you walk out. <laughs> see the bubble behind. You see Dagomar sitting next to a tree. Yes. Did you want to be alone? <sighs> be alone. It's okay if you do. I'm fine with your company. I'll sit next to him. Why did you try to kick him out of the bubble? He didn't deserve to be there. Regardless of whether or not that's true, it did start another fight. Yes. I do not shy away from conflict, though. We all know that. It should not be a surprise. And I don't think you shied away from it in that situation. That boy. Points. So proudly at that book. That book that drove me and Euphine insane momentarily. And day by day, I see that little red thing talk in his ear. And day by day, I see him become more and more petulant and disrespectful. I do not trust him. 
Do not trust that book. That is one possibility of what's going on. I don't discount that. I don't care why it's happening. I just, what I mean to say is that we are the ones that told him that to that book was that his book. responsibility to use the power, mm -hmm. that he had the ability with it. Yes, and I was to there. To change the world as he, as he sees fit. Yes, I recall. I suppose I forgot I was speaking to a human. I don't think it's the human aspect. Is it? That's the problem. Let me bring something to your attention. Do we know any humans that use it well? Power. The most powerful human I know does not. And their history says something else, does it not? They do not handle it well. Should not have told them to embrace it. They don't have the time to handle it as gracefully. I don't care. I do not. Humanity is weak. That is true. And I think that's what Iquid is beginning to understand. Good. Know his place. That's not what I meant. That is what I mean. When we first started traveling together, I was so weak. Yes, you were. In almost every fight, I was inches from death. I know. I was there. I saved you. I know. It was immensely frustrating to know that I depended on everyone else around me to get me through. You know what I think of humans every time I think of them? I think of the screams I heard from your cell as they stabbed you at the very sight of you. I think of that, and I wonder, do they deserve any sympathy from me? I think of when I was exposed in Dunborough and how they chased me down. I see contempt in his face, looking at me, and I only feel rage. I should have known. I don't say this to talk down to you. Mm. I say this because I also took out my hatred of the humans that did that to us in Law. Didn't you fight alongside humans? Yes, because they called me sister. As time and time goes on, I can't help but feel more kinship towards Vidar than I do any of our companions. He was better. He just knew it. Look at what happened to his city. The exact same thing that happened to mine. And who did it but a human? Why do you think they do it? Because they cannot handle power. Because they are stupid, weak, without any willpower. There's also desperation in knowing how short your life is compared to everyone else's. If only it were shorter. Do you not feel any empathy considering your own situation? I do, but I can feel both empathy and hatred at the same time. I empathize greatly with Titus Mirkwood, the only human I ever respected. But his power and that boys are far different. Yes. And he manages to control it more. 
Yes. Are you afraid of Ickland? <laughs> no. Not in the slightest. Then you... I could beat that boy with no sword, no armor. And I think Naked everyone else knows that. They better. I don't understand why you have to try and prove it to him. Because he said to me that I was nothing. That we were all equal and that it was my sword. The sword of the Loth. That made me who I am. The only thing that mattered was the sword that I was given by a matron mother who never looked me in the eye. And I cannot, I cannot let him get away with that. He doesn't know the weight of his words. He's young and stupid, Ignorance just like I was. of his words is not an excuse. That it is, is not a defense. That is true. He will feel my blade. I may not kill him, but he will know his place. I will squash him quickly before he can whisper a single word from that blasted book. I will make sure of it. I will use all of my power and I will run over him like a cart over a bug. And I will be the one whose face he sees as he regains consciousness. Looking down on him as he lies, face down in the dirt. And then he will know his place. If I cannot convince you not to do that, can I at least ask that you don't instigate it? No. It happens as soon as that bubble drops. Why? The longer he does not know his place, the harder it is to fit him there. Can you let your hero you theme try to talk to him first? What? So they can make him feel better? So he can suck at the teat? No. We had this conversation again. The way you were taught is one method, and there are other ways to successfully get the same result. And I will learn that eventually. Can but you, unlike him, I have 2,900 years to learn it. You have two months to learn it. And I don't mean to be cruel bringing then that, that up. Then that is not on my um, to-do list. Let them try. And if they fail... They can try after I have squashed him. I will not be talked down to any longer. I will not wait. He said it correctly. I am a prince. I am Prince Strakovar of the Arlandai. The chosen of a god, regardless of whose god or what god that was. Tagamaras, in one breath you decry everything you experienced, and in the other, you are so prideful of it. I don't know what you're thinking. When I am faced with disrespect, my pride does get the better of me, and I let it, because I enjoy it, because that is all I have, is my pride. There's a lich in that bubble who has a very special fondness. And if he kills me, that boy, then Titus kills him. And the rest of us. If that boy damages Titus's goods, rest assured that all of you will become dust. He's not going to damage you. We all know that. I know. So you're going to let us all die because you want to put Iglid in his place by no, force. He will not kill me either. If anything, he will attempt to stop it. But I will have already done it. All it takes. Four. Maybe 
every six seconds. I don't see how you're trying to change in this. All in I this see... moment in time, I am embracing who I am. It is not always good, but right now, it feels pretty good. And it's going to feel even better when I see him lying there in the dirt. Sniveling child, talking to me in such a way. You'd think you'd have gotten used to it by now. I will never get used to humans talking down to me. I barely accepted it when Titus did it. stick together, Vivian. Do not think yourself equal. You're better. I can't accept that. You will. Tomorrow. Talking to a fucking wall. If I'm mean to him, it's a wall. If I'm nice to him, it's a fucking wall. That's pride. <laughs> All right. Hypocrite. 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 Oh, makes me feel so dirty. I will take first watch. You sleep. Like he can get into Yahiro's bubble anyway, Same. so you're safe. Alright, your watch. Yahiro is not assisting you. Oh, jeepers! He ain't got it. That's 21. Okay. You find yourself looking at the other dome that exists mm -hmm. about 30 feet away underneath another birch. Mm. Drama. But you see a couple of rabbits, hawks overhead a bit, mm -hmm. owls, nothing else. Mm. For the entire night. Mm. However, the beginning of the next day, May 31st, mm. the bubbles both mm. and Dagomaris immediately stands <clears throat> and walks over. I will follow behind Grab your him. book, Eclid. Stand. It is time. It's time for what? You are fighting me. Are we spying, finally? Yes, but not with wooden swords. Stand. I'm going to look very pointedly at Yahiro. Dagomars. What? <laughs> Me. Do you want to fight him, Eklid? No. Why? I know he doesn't mean sparring for the practicality of skirmish. I will not kill you, boy. But you need to know your place. So get your book. Get your godly book that you think means so much. I pick it up. I know my place, so I'm okay. You do not know your place. And that is evident by how you are talking to me. That's okay. We can agree to disagree. All right. Then you either defend yourself or I cut you down. Which will it be? Cut me down, Dagomar. All right, Eklid. I will. Roll initiative for me. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you roll? Two. Two? 
He rolled 16. Nice. Yahiro mm -hmm. will also roll mm -hmm. initiative. Oh, can I roll? Sure. If you plan on intervening. <laughs> how, do I, how do I know if I plan on intervening? <laughs> well, this is the initiative. Because remember, you're like, you see the battle taking place, and the initiative is like you, oh, how yeah. fast you spring into yeah, action. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, yeah. I don't think it's going to matter. Iclid, or sorry, Yahiro rolled mm -hmm. a 23. Mm -hmm. And Dagomars rolled a 16. <sighs> and he is going to use Time Stop. Mm -hmm. All you hear is. You all black out for a second as you are all within it. Oh. Yoinks. Did you just hate when that happens? <laughs> we all collectively space out at the same time. He is going to. <laughs> water. <laughs> Absorbs Iclid, but mm. you only see. Oh, water. He's water. Here. And then another one. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you make strength saving throws. Okay. I'm very bad. 13. Yeah. Both yeah. of you fail as mm -hmm. they, the water begins to consume you. Mm -hmm. He's just going to... <laughs> you, mm -hmm. as the time stop stops, mm -hmm. you see water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as you are... <laughs> shoved about 120 feet back. Dagomaris, you also see <coughs> the water <coughs> crashing. <coughs> Dagomaris, <coughs> Iclid, you also <coughs> fly back mm -hmm. quite a ways. Dagomaris <coughs> stands immediately, looks at Yahiro, begins to charge <laughs> again. That is his turn as he was thrown 120 feet. He is going to dash 60 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Running 60 Does feet. Does he only have 20 feet? So, it's encumbered? Sorry, 40 feet, yeah. So, 80 feet from you. You, Euphem, it is now your turn. I'm calling down the story. <laughs> okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is now Iclid's turn. So. You are 80 feet away from Dagomaris and he. Wait, 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 were we both blown 100 feet away? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, away? yeah, actually. Okay. So no, you were bone 120 feet away from each, each other. Each other. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then so he has... 80 feet left to get to you as you lay prone on the ground. So he dashed... Wait, he dashed how much? 40 feet. He went yeah, a total he of 40 okay, feet. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I won't do anything. I'll just kind of be sitting upright. Okay, make a, make a wisdom saving throw then. Okay. Uh that one. That one? Okay. Wow! Baz creeps up from the back ah! and puts his hands uh, around your throat. Uh-huh. No. No. And since you failed, uh, I have to your that. eyes Yikes. roll back into your head. <laughs> I now have control over your character. Uh, I don't get to play the turn! <laughs> that was your turn. You are... You are completely <laughs> out of your control. It is now Yahiro's turn again. Don't, don't mess with Eldritch Being! Don't, <laughs> don't mess with Eldritch Being! He's not Eldritch. <laughs> oh, whatever. Yahiro. Impish demon creature thing. <laughs> Yahiro sees no other choice. No. And he is going to cast Banishment <laughs> on both of you. On See. both of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Swipes his sword. Uh -huh. A little bit of blood gets on it mm -hmm. as it... The blood turns to dust. <laughs> you mm -hmm. breathe it in. I need you to make a charisma saving throw. Oh, no. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, it's okay. We'll do this. <laughs> Brother! <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> what are you doing? It's a 10. Okay. <laughs> you watch as both Dagomaris and Iclid. Dagomaris mid step. <laughs> Iclid. <laughs> Off. There's nowhere. Yahiro, Euphem, the bear, and Vivian, the only ones who remain. Yahiro. Where'd you put them? Um, I don't know. 
Are they safe? Maybe. It's uh, it's a weird spell. They they could be going to a multitude of different areas between areas. There aren't many places that people have claimed to go. People have claimed that they go to Divine Barrier. Others claim that they just are locked in a space of absolute darkness. The two times I've been banished, what did I experience? Absolute darkness. That's what I had. That's what happened to me. Yes, most people. I saw like a wall of light or Uh, electricity. That is the Divine Barrier. Why? It's probably the safest place they could be. Oh, really? It was terrifying. Well, uh, just to keep gods in. <laughs> <laughs> I could not get in. If I keep this spell up for too long, then they will be permanently banished there. So I have to drop it at some point. I don't want to hurt either of them. I don't know what to do. Dagomaris is convinced he has to put Iklid in his place. Yes, I've s- I see that. I hear him talk about it. We only have about 30 seconds left. Do you have any ideas? I can polymorph one of them. Uh, Iclid is... Polymorph Iclid. Okay. I fear for his um, friend. The imp? Yes. Yes. Dagamoris just needs to duel somebody, maybe, to make himself feel better. I'll take his place. Fine. Then polymorph, polymorph Iclid. And Euphemia will take Iclid's place. Okay. What a silly thing this is. Yes, truly. Elves. Humans. It just goes on. (sighs) Unfortunate. All right. (laughs) Dagomars stumbles out. Mm. What are you doing? Polymorphing. Wisdom saving throw. Okay, you. Ah, fuck. This is out of the initiative order. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll just do that real quick. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not fighting anybody. Nine. Kay. Ah, fail. <laughs> Slug time, baby. <laughs> Close the wand out. Iclid. And I'm going to run over and scoop him up really fast. Okay. Baz is also polymorphed with him. Two little oh. slugs? No, 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 no. Just in the same slug. Damn. <laughs> so you have him in there. Dagmaris. <laughs> Yeah, hero looks at, uh, goes over to Dagmaris, puts his hand on his shoulder. Dagmar- <laughs> what? <laughs> you are fighting Euphim in Iglid's stead. If you must fight someone, I must. Horny. <laughs> 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 He's been fighting fools. I do not wish to embarrass you. <laughs> do not embarrass Dagmaris. Fine. Square. Roll initiative. Ooh. I'm just holding the slug. <laughs> okay, this is actually really good. I uh, twenty two. Yeah, you you beat him thirteen. You're about twenty feet away from him at this point. He yeah, as he's about to push forward, you twenty feet away. From him. Okay. Um. Um. Hexblade's curse. Okay. Action, and we're just going to attack him to start. Okay. See what do you he takes this <laughs> You're going to melee attack? Yeah. Okay. So you run up 20 feet. <laughs> Gotta hit that 20 AC, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Scoff. <laughs> Get him. I crit. Oh. I hit a 19. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, nice. We're going to smite. Okay. Get him. Do it. Knock him on his ass. Uh... So, so that's what? So it was... 46? Yeah. 46. God, he's wow. like almost down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, he's still got half HP. Oh. So you... <laughs> the lightning... <laughs> as he... <laughs> onto the ground. <laughs> yeah, do knock him prone. Yes. And then I'm going to go in for another attack. Yes. Um... E. 
Uh, that is a, if it hasn't been hit, it's an 18. Okay. So as he's on the ground, you try and come down hard it into his plate mail. He... Attacks damage. It's plus three. Okay. okay. Cool. As it lays on his plate mail, you needed to do all of it in one hit. He looks up at you. Ooh. Old person. Oh, he is doing the I thought he was going to inflict wounds. So I roll a... A save. wisdom save. You've trained for this, Euphim. Mm-hmm. Uh, Twelve. Okay. Oh, so you mm. lock up. He stands. All right. Reaches out to you. Inflict wounds. Ah, there it is. At the third level. level. Yeah. <laughs> you take 54 points of damage mm. from that. <laughs> then he action surges. <laughs> And he takes out his sword. He's going to try and attack you. Like that. It's an 8 plus... 7? 15. Nope. That misses? 16, 16 okay. Off the side. Natural 20, but... It already crits <laughs> for the second attack. Wait, no, he can't, he can't attack with his sword for the second attack, so he has to use Inflict Wounds. Because, and quicken it, because he doesn't have the second attack from fighter. But he will be using, Damn. he doesn't want to kill you, he'll use second level inflict wounds. Non-lethal. Mm-hmm, non-lethal. 28 points of damage. Unconscious. Okay, as he reaches out, I'm sorry, <laughs> through your system, you <sighs> fall back down. He <clears throat> clutches his side. <sighs> he really hits me well. That hurts like a fucking bitch. <sighs> Gosh. <sighs> I feel better. But Can anyone get him up? I'll go stabilize him. Ah, I will heal him. <laughs> get up. <laughs> healing words, you. Yeah. <laughs> was it get or up? Which one was the healing yeah. uh, uh, You get... G-I-T. <laughs> Max healing. Eight points okay. of healing. Wow. Okay. Swimming in You. <gasps> Fuck. Sorry. Thank you. I needed that. Oh, you hit me very well. That hurt hard. Badly, I mean. Oh, yeah, when you hit me, it hurt, too, so. Yes, I could see that. I'm gonna just lie here for a little bit. Yeah, so will I. Does anyone have a, a potion? I've never felt bound after a battle. I feel bad now. Uh, I'm lying. Yes. <sighs> but I am calm now. Yeah, here he walks up. <laughs> Are you okay, mm. Yuvim? No, but I'll live. That is good. Mm. And you, Dagamaris? Yes, I am fine. One more blow and you would have had me. I know. You're strong. That means a lot coming from you. You knocked me right on my ass. <laughs> It's rare that that happens. <laughs> I'm heavy. Wow. I'll stop joking about being able to take you in a 1v1 now. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Although, if you would hit me just a bit harder. I really, I really tried with that one. I could see that. You did not hold back. Mm. I do feel better. Thank you, Yuffie. Well, don't make it a habit, but I still think of you as a friend. In case you were wondering. I got a bit closer to <laughs> thinking of you as a friend. It's Plus a one affection. <laughs> <laughs> now, Iglet, on the other hand, I well, know. I guess I will just have to let you all handle him. Seeing as though I will never get close to him with this lich on me. <laughs> mm-hmm. And your hero. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is fine. It is good that he has somebody that will use incredibly powerful magic to send me to a 
pitch black dimension of nothingness for him. Every little man or boy or thing should have that. Mm -hmm. I wish I had. He's upset with me. Uh, he's upset with everyone. I think he's upset because he's been going down a lot. Every time we fight. That's just my inclination, and I'm not particularly good at reading people, but I think that might be the problem. He seems very upset that I wasn't there for him. What do you mean? You do not blame yourself. Right? Was, the plan wasn't for him to go down in there anyway. He was in the wrong. He is but a boy. He should have known better than to teleport down into the midst of two mages and five. Either way, mis even if he was a mistake, I was supposed to be there. Fine. You, you were can to do survive. that strange, warped sense of blame. Do not do that. He's a boy. He needs to take responsibility. I thank you for calming my nerves. It is something I needed. But I will still not throw you under the cart. Do not blame yourself. No part of the planning involved him going down. In fact, we had spoken about that. And we had said that that was not the plan. It's a friend's job to be there when people make their mistakes. Sure. It's also a person's job to survive when they are in the midst of a delayed fireball pearl and two mages and a chained beast and all of the within the arcane dragons anomaly guard and within an arcane anomaly. And we were trying to survive. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Now, you could have been there for him as a friend, but that doesn't guarantee that we would have Mistakes were made. Yes. I told you there was a time where I really didn't know where I was. I just wouldn't blame yourself. Mm, I would not either. He can be upset with you, and that's one thing, but I don't think you did anything wrong. I think you did the best you could, as we all did. I agree. Again, those fireballs did not explode on my call. Nor was it my skill that did it. If he wants to, I was already going to talk to him about... Maybe not sparring, but some better ways to strategize. Mostly staying back with me. I will do one thing. I want to talk to him at least. That would be a, probably a very good idea. Yes. Regardless. Did you all see his eyes roll back into his head? Yes, I was going to ask if it's safe for me to unpolymorph him. <laughs> maybe wait. <laughs> yes, maybe wait. <laughs> okay, he probably has another 50 minutes in this. It happens every time he does magic. I just figured he was about to cast a spell. Something. But the book was not in front of him. Yes, you're right. Did I see Babs at all? No. Mm. <laughs> Yeesh. <laughs> He's not a good person. <laughs> we all know that. You don't think. <laughs> um, well, then I will just hold on to him for a bit. Yes. Well, perhaps he will calm down as well, being a slug. I know I did. <laughs> <laughs> is it nice? Is it pleasant? Or is it unpleasant? No. But you learn to appreciate just being around and not being a slug. I feel as if being a slug would not be so bad if, if you know. were just a slug. Mm. I think my uncle was a slug in a past life. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. It's too much. Yeah, I hear him. He comes up. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Well, that's what my mom used to say. Strange. Do they have... Are you sure? Tell me. Well... So my mother. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where we will be ending. Wow. Stole my, stole my bag. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's conversation. We'll see you later. Bye. Love you, bye.